Hey everyone, Mike McClary here and welcome to our webinar. It's great to see everyone again. Uh, we got Dan Ashburn here from amazing.com, myself from amazing.com as well. We're so glad you guys could join us. It is 2 p.m. Central time here in the United States. Dan, I believe what time is it there for you? Eight? It is 10 past eight in the evening for everyone here in the UK. All right, and uh, I just wanna check before we get going to make sure that you guys can see us and hear us. So if you don't mind, uh, drop us a note in the question box and let us know if you can see us. So let's see. Um, yeah, yeah we got Johnny, Vladimir, Brandon, Laurie, Katharina, Kayle, Cheyenne. Yeah, awesome. Tiny so you can see us. Yes, all good from Caroline. Great, fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us all here, guys. Um, today we're here to you know talk about how you can actually build a profitable business on Amazon and replace your income by January of 2021. And that's actually a pretty bold statement because if you think about it, um, you know, given right now, we're already at May, almost end of May. So we're only seven months and 11 days away or about 32 weeks away from January. Uh, that's not a lot of time when it comes to starting and building a brand new business. Uh, but right now um, there are forces in play that make this even more possible than ever. And to explain that, let me show you something that I was doing over the weekend. So uh, yeah, that's that's not exactly me. That's kind of me. That's what I was uh, getting a haircut over the weekend. And you'll notice that you know on here um, that that's not a very good haircut. <laughs> Never in my life did I think that I was actually going to be out there and getting my haircut, much less by this person right here. That's my daughter. And I can tell you that she's not quite as sweet and innocent when she's holding a pair of clippers right above your head and getting ready to, to cut your hair. But hopefully she did a pretty good job. It's not too bad. Uh, and she's actually full disclosure, a little older than she was in that picture right now. Uh, but in order to make this even possible to do, I had to buy this. That's the exact hair cutting kit that I got. And it's not something that I ever would have imagined buying myself because I'm just not someone who thought I got that coming out here. Uh, but apparently, I'm not the only one who also bought this because it is sold out. So many people are having to do things in ways that they have never done before. And in many cases, having to buy things that they never bought before. And this is just one example about how the world's changing right now. Because let's face it, the world is changing. It has changed. It's probably forever changed. But because of that, we're seeing a few, a few different big trends out there. The first one is that people who are already buying a lot online, well, they're buying more than they ever were. Uh, online sales in the U.S. alone, that doesn't include you know, Europe or anywhere else in the world, they're up more than 30% because of COVID-19. Uh, it was already moving up before then, but the coronavirus has thrown even more fuel on the e-commerce fire. Uh, and it's not just that the same people are buying more stuff online. We're also seeing an entirely new audience of online shoppers as well. These are the people who never felt comfortable shopping online before, like my dad, who's 85 years old, and for one reason or another, just didn't want to do it. Well, now, those buyers have been forced to shop online uh, just to get some of the things that they need for everyday life. And the vast majority of them, they're realizing that it's not as scary as they thought it was, and they're actually enjoying the entire process. Now, in addition to selling more stuff online and reaching new people online, well, we're also seeing people buy new products that they never would have bought before, just like me buying those hair clippers that I most likely would not have went to the store or bought online. Well, I'm buying new things that I never would have. And all these different things are kind of leading to this great opportunity for us. It gives us a huge amount of opportunity for me, for Dan, for everyone at Amazing, for everyone watching this call right now. Even more opportunity that existed even before with this kind of business model. Now, keep in mind though that opportunity all by itself, it does not equal success. It equals potential success. And today, Dan and I are here to show you how to tap into that and to create a profitable, thriving online business faster than ever before. Now, you're probably wondering how, how in the heck I'm actually gonna do this. Uh, well, it actually was in the name of the workshop right here, and that's by creating your own brand of physical products that you can sell on Amazon and leverage their incredible number of buyers and shoppers and their incredible fulfillment system. Now, just like the hair clippers that I bought last week, these are products that you can create. But if you're worried that, hey, I'm not creative at all, I can't invent my very own product, you don't have to be. Um, because all you need to do is to sell an existing product that's already in high demand, just like the Clippers here. You can easily have the same type of product made for you, and we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. And then you can create and sell your own brand right on Amazon. 
Now, that's exactly what people like you and me and everyone else on this page at a circle, they're already doing. Half of the top selling clippers on this page that I just circled, they're small private brands created by people just like you and I. And they're not the big brands out there like, you know, Norelco or Philips or Wall like I got. They're just regular people. And I've circled those here. And those eight products that I've circled, they're doing a combined amount of $1.5 million per month in sales, not per year, per month. And that's exactly what's possible with what you're going to learn today. Now, you might also be thinking that you don't have enough time nor money to build your own brand and your own business. I know I certainly did when I started out, but we're here today to tell you that you don't have to. We've shown thousands of everyday ordinary people like the ones you're looking at right here, how to do this. That includes me. And these are just some of them who have completely changed their lives over the past several years. Now, before we show you more examples of success like that, uh, it's important that you, I'll let you know that we're gonna show you real results from real people just like you and I. Dan and I both run multiple successful e-commerce brands and we fully believe in this business model, otherwise we wouldn't be here teaching it. But every single business out there, no matter what it is, and we're seeing this more than ever, they all involve some amount of risk. And just like every achievement out there, you get out what you put into it. And there's always an element of luck involved in it and there's no guarantee that you will make money. But when you do things right, this is the type of potential that you have. This couple right here, this is Devin and Katie Dorsch. I know them both. They live near me in St. Louis, Missouri. And they're students of ours who built their own successful business called Grillaholics. They were recently included in the Inc. 5000 list of the fastest growing businesses, and they clocked in at position 811. Now, they did that by selling $2.7 million in one year, 2018, which was a 527% growth over three years, which is crazy for any kind of business, even an online business. Now, also here's Channing, she's another one of our students, showing that she did over a half million dollars in a single month with her brand new Amazon business. And this is the type of success that it's gonna allow anyone to take care of aging parents, send your kids to college, uh, never have to work a normal 40 hour a week, uh, never worry about having to pay the bills or save money in a 401k if you don't want to. And as Channing even says right here, she made more money in a single month than she used to make in an entire year. Now, you may be wondering, how do I know that you, anyone you know, on the webinar with Dana right now can do this and why should you listen to me? Well, I actually was a student just like Dan, like so many other people right here. I spent 20 years in the corporate world working for a telecom company. And in 2013, I started my own brand of products. Uh, I was able to quit my corporate job a year later. And we're gonna show you how to do that even faster on this workshop. Now, I've sold over $14 million worth of products in my businesses, and I've even been able to share the stage with a lot of business icons. Like you can see here, um, that's uh, Robert Kiyosaki on the bottom. There's Richard Branson. Uh, I've been able to get on, you know, up and, and present the same places where there's Dave Asprey from Bulletproof Coffee and so many other people like the founder of Whole Foods. It's completely transformed my life by being able to run this business. And I was able to also train over 11,000 people in this model. And I'm here to help you along with Dan to break free whatever's holding you back right now. So if you're wondering why we're here today, uh, we're gonna show you how to build your own brand of products that's gonna leverage this incredible and ever-growing power of Amazon. Uh, and we're gonna show you to build and make products that people want and they need. And everything is done online. It can be run out of your home, which a lot of us are spending more time at right now. The only thing that you need is an internet connection and a laptop. Uh, it also takes a minimal amount of time only about an hour or two a day. And that's exactly what I had available to me. I felt like even during my business days, still working at the telecom company, I didn't even have that amount of time, but I was able to carve out an hour or two a day. And that's all that we're asking you to be able to do. And if you can do that, you'll never have to be dependent upon a 401k or any type of savings or any type of paycheck again. Now, by the end of the workshop, we're gonna show you so that you know and understand how this business works. You'll know what you need in order to build your own business. And you'll know how long it's gonna take to accomplish their goals as well. But a few housekeeping things right here. I uh, wanna make sure that you know the training's gonna take about 1.5, maybe two hours. Uh, we'll also save that last half an hour for a Q&A session so you save all your questions up. We also have Rich Henderson, uh, one of our head trainers in the background. He's gonna be answering questions as you go along, but if you see something that we wanna share for everyone, he'll flag it and then Dan and I will get to them all at the end, at the end of this. Um, just keep asking those questions. And then we're also going to be emailing you a copy of the slides later on once we have them all taken care of when we're done here. Uh, as a bonus for attending, you're going to get the Freedom Starter Kit. We'll show you exactly how to get that near the end of the workshop. And throughout the workshop, we're gonna be giving away two different $100 Amazon gift cards. So I'm gonna give you some hints right now. 
be sure to pay attention during the training because the questions that I'll be asking are going to be based on something that you will have just learned probably in the first couple slides, the most recent slides that before I ask the questions. Now, to get into the training here, I want to introduce you to someone very special, uh, someone amazing who's helped so many people change their lives. He's working with Amazing now to train our, all of our members on how to sell products on Amazon. So Dan, you know, he's, he's see, the secret behind multiple million dollar brands. And I mean a lot of brands. How he does it, I have no idea. Uh, I used to think I had a lot of brands. This guy has quadrupled anything that I've ever worked on. He knows what he's doing with building multiple brands out there. He's trained over a thousand people how to build their own business. He's an expert at branding and launching products to the very top of Amazon. Uh, and today he's gonna show you how to build your own business as fast and as efficiently as possible. So right now I'm gonna bring Dan on. Uh, Dan, welcome to the workshop. Thanks, Mike, and uh, thanks for having me here. Thanks, guys, for turning up and being present and paying attention. I'm just going to go and jump over to my screen here. Um, so we're going to give it a second, and you should be able to see a black screen right now, Mike. Are you seeing that? Uh, that not. Uh, oh, yeah, we're good now. Excellent. Okay, cool. So you should be seeing a black screen. Awesome. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and drop my webcam because I want you to be focused on everything we walk through here today and not distracted by myself jumping over on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my webcam off. Um, but I encourage you throughout this next hour and a half or so to drop those questions in the question and answers box. The guys in the background, Rich and the team, are going to be picking those up. And at the end, we're going to go through all of those questions. So make sure you do ask them. But before we get going, I just want you to understand with this crazy world that we're now in, that you can't control what's happening, but you can control how you choose to respond to what's happening. And that's really the premise of everything we're going to go through here today. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step roadmap for quitting your job and replacing your income by 2021, by January 2021. But it's up to you to take action on that and respond and control how you respond. So we're gonna cover the 2020 roadmap, but before we get into that, I want to ask you a question and I want you to type an answer in the chat box for me. What do you believe that the British Special Forces and Sir Richard Branson have in common? What do you believe they have in common in the way they approach their business? Drop in the chat box if you've come across this before, or maybe you understand uh, what I'm talking about here. Cool, so getting some stuff coming through. The thing that these two have in common is their pyramid for success, known as the Vital Pyramid, is built on mindset. Mindset is everything you need before a game plan, before skills, before tools. If you don't come into this with the right mindset, you won't find success. Mindset is absolutely everything, is the foundation when it comes to success. So when we think about obstacles that come in the way of success in this business, this is a list of the common ones that typically come up. So first is money, the next would be time, ability, clarity, and fear. And I just want to address these out the gate before we dive in here today, so we can just put these to bed and we can focus on what matters, and that's the valuable information we're about to go through and you taking action upon it. So money, like Suman did, he did not spend that much uh, for launching his product in the UK, so he didn't actually need that much money to get started with this business. Oliver, I have a multi-million pound uh, main company that has over 100 staff, 50 brick and mortar locations, and a big online presence. This is the first course I've signed up to and received return on investments. And, and he did that alongside running a multi million dollar operation. Ability. So, in this line, in this uh, feedback here, as everyone does, I've had various other issues to resolve my problems and I've overcome them. When I did launch it, it was amazing. So, even though Simon felt like he wasn't able to execute everything we're going to walk through here today, he did. He overcame that because he had the right mindset clarity now i'm a big believer in clarity i believe that the formula for success is clarity plus action so if we look at that if we have a look at clarity pat talks about i'm very grateful to be a part of this community because you are one you are part of my success the knowledge i've gained in this group is priceless meeting the people at the events is mind-blowing and finally fear who here is fearful of the unknown fearful to step outside of their comfort zone step out of the normality and actually take action towards changing their future path in life. Now I'm here to say, if you want something you never had, you have to do something you've never done before. And I really want you to understand and listen to that as we move forward here now. So who knows who this guy is? Drop in the chat box, in the questions box. If you know who this guy is, drop his name in the, in the chat box for me. Let me know. Yeah, cool. So 
Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is a multi multiple billionaire, big performance coach to many of the greats, including past presidents of the United States. And Tony says, if you want to be successful, find someone who has achieved the results that you want to achieve and copy what they did, and you will be, have the same results. You'll be as successful. And I want you to go into this understanding that point. So a quick story about my friend, Phil. This is That's myself on the right-hand side there. That was Phil, just the end of last year. I believe it was September last year. I got this message about three or four weeks ago saying, hey, Dan, how are you? Thought you might want to know that I sold brand name and I feel like one long chapter that started when I called you in 2015 has closed. So thank you for being a big part of it. And I said, congrats, dude. So I met Phil back in 2015. He was a BBC producer, a producer for, for the BBC, making uh, and uh, editing documentaries and shows and stuff. And he heard about this Amazon thing that I was up to through my father-in-law, Charles. Long story short, we ended up going out for a curry and a beer. I talked Phil through the business model. Fast forward five years, Phil has just sold this business for multiple millions of dollars. And he was um, obviously expressing gratitude there a few years later. He sold this business for millions of dollars. So just imagine starting now and four to five years from now, you sell your business for a million dollars. What would that do for you, your loved ones and your life and your family? So today's agenda in our small amount of time together, my goal is to make a big impact in the following ways. The first is confidence where there was once uncertainty. We live in an uncertain world right now. I want to give you some confidence. Clarity, where there was once confusion. As you know, clarity plus action is success. I'm gonna give you that clarity. All you then need to do is take the action. And finally, I want to unlock within you the true potential that you have to create the life and you've always wanted and will have whatever impact you desire. We all are doing this for some reason. The money is a fuel towards a bigger goal and we have well, there's an impact that we want to have and I want to help you get there. So my goal today is to give you the plan to help you quit your job by January 2020. And a job doesn't just mean you're working for a company. I, as you're gonna learn, a job can mean you're a slave to your own business as well. So if nothing else, yet if nothing else, I am going to show you how to make money on Amazon. Is that okay with you? Give me a yes in the chat box if that is okay and we're good to get going. Lots of yeses coming through, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Awesome, guys. Love the engagement. Okay, so what I'm going to reveal are the exact steps you need to take to launch your products and replace your income by January 2021. How to pick a high demand, high profit product with low competition. Exactly how much cash you will need to start. This is a big question we always get. Um, your business and when to invest it. And a big hint here, you don't need all the money up front. And the start to finish roadmap to run your business with deadlines to hold you accountable. But what I need from you here today is implementation. Nothing pains me more than people who are given a life-changing solution like this, but find themselves in the same position years later because they didn't take action. I need you to commit to yourself, commit to this call, commit to me, and not just listen. I need you to actively listen and go away and implement. And as Mike said, there's $100 in Amazon gift cards if you do. So I will give you my all, but I need the same from you. Do we have a deal? Give me a number two in the chat box. Let me know you're listening if we have a deal there. Now, while you're doing that, while you're dropping a number two in the chat box, quick backstory on myself. My name's Dan Ashburn. Nice to meet you. Um, this is my wife, my beautiful sons. They're asleep now. We're trying to get them to sleep now. Um, from a young age, I was obsessed with making money online. This was the first website I built in April 2003. It is still online. I can't believe it. I sold this website for £2,000. I was made up. And from that point onwards, I was obsessed with making money. So I went through Google SEO. I did eBay, I did affiliate marketing, um, and I got into drop shipping and e-commerce for selling other people's products. But the whole time I was doing this, I was being moved out to Spain. I was a teenager, I was moving out to Spain, a little island called Tenerife, where I spent most of the time exploring the insides of bars and not really doing much else. So long story short, got sent back to the UK and within a year of trying college was in the military. Uh, did four and a bit years of service, uh, did a couple of tours in the Middle East, did some fun stuff on the right there, as you can see. But one thing always remained true. I was making more money on the side than I was in my full-time job in the military. So after about four and a half years, I came out of the military and started um, my first agency with my friends, my business partners here, out of my mother-in-law's garage. And we went from zero to seven figures in a year and helped hundreds of small business owners succeed online. But guys, I was miserable. I was absolutely miserable. And this is what I mean about having a business that you're a slave to. I was a slave to my business, trading time for money. Who here is currently either in a job, working a nine to five, or has a business, but is a slave to their business and ultimately has a job? Say me in the chat box if that's you. Let me know where you're at. 
And if that's you, yeah, got in loads of me. Guys, look, I was there. I understand it. I'm with you. What I'm going to show you here today is by far the fastest vehicle and the fastest path away from that. So until I came across Amazon, that was about 2015. It was actually um, ASM3 that I joined. So fast forward to now. Um, fast forward to now. I generate million over a million dollars in sales per month on sales on Amazon in various brands that my company's involved in, have complete freedom. I, I can provide for my family a very, very comfortable life that I never thought was possible. And I've elevated to this position of purpose, helping other people achieve freedom in their own lives. Um, and it's really fulfilling to do so. So um, thank you for having me today. Thank you for listening and let's get started. So just to back that up, you can see a screenshot here. I literally took this a couple of hours ago. Uh, we run a few multiple accounts. So you can see this was taken on the 21st of May, that's today. Um, and you can see PDT a couple of hours ago. So this is very serious, very real. You can see $292,000 in sales revenue generated in the last 30 days in this account. Here's another account. You can see this was taken um, again today, looking back at the last seven days. And you can see this account's done $51,000 in sales revenue in the last seven days. And finally, another one here, um, taken again today, 21st of May, at 8.24 PDT. And you can see that's done $208,000 in revenue. And typically, typically, we will earn anywhere from 20 to 30% on the bottom line with these accounts. So if you do the math on that, 20% on the bottom line, there's about 40,000 in profit for that period. So very real business, all can be run from home with your laptop. So is everyone ready to go? That's enough about me, is everyone ready to go? Drop me a yes in the chat box, let me know that we're good to get started. Take out your pad, take out your pen, and let's get ready to learn this system. Cool, getting lots of yeses, awesome. Now guys, I want you to understand a goal without a plan is just a wish. Before we get into this, you need to understand how much money, how many dollars, pounds sterling, whatever country you're in, how many dollars do you need to earn to deliver your plan? So when thinking about this, I want you to consider some things. When you get into this business, you are going to be working from home, meaning that you'll be spending less time on gas and eating out for lunch, that sort of stuff. Are there any expenses you can cut while starting out? And do you really need four streaming video services? Do you need Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Disney, all of those things in once and all the different uh, music streaming services like Spotify, Apple, do you really need all that stuff? And are you using all of those apps on your phone? You will be surprised if you go to your um, subscription management within these settings on your smartphone just how much you're spending on apps that add up at $2 each. So what I want you to do is go ahead, think about that number. What would it take you to quit your job? What would you need to earn income per month to quit your job? Drop that number in the chat box for me in the questions box. Let me know what that number is. Let me know what the typical um, revenue in profit that we would need to hit. I wanna see some answers come through before I push forward. So uh, 60,000 a month. I hope Okay, uh, no, 5,000, 3,500, 4,000 a month, 3,000, 7,000, 5,000, 3,500, 5,000. Yeah, so we're going to go with an average of about $5,000 a month as an average income to allow you to quit your job, taking into account all of those things. So just keep that number in your mind. And what I want you to do after you, we complete this workshop today is I want you to stick that number on a piece of paper on the wall in front of you, on the back of your bathroom door so that you're constantly looking at that number, $5,000 to quit your job. So let's go through the step-by-step -step action plan. Step one is we have to select a product. Step two is we have to source that product from a manufacturer or a factory or a supplier. They're called different things. And then we need to list that product on Amazon. So we need to list that product for sale. We need to launch that product so that people find our product and buy it. So when someone searches for something, they find our product. We need to sustain those sales. So once we start getting some sales, we want to start, we want to keep them coming. And then we're gonna go ahead and launch a second product, grow the sales of both of them, continue to optimize our profit, our sales, just work on that business, kind of like pruning your garden daily, getting rid of the weeds, making sure the plants are growing nicely, and ultimately leave your job. How does that look as a bit of a roadmap that we can achieve in the next seven months? And I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to do to get there. Drop me a number three in the chat box if that looks like a decent roadmap that you could be walking through. Cool. Awesome. So let's first off focus on the four main parts of the business, selecting a product, sourcing a product, listing and launching. 
And then part two, we're gonna go through exactly how much money you need to do this and when you need it and exactly how you're gonna get there. So when it comes to Amazon, we, there are four, first four stages, are selecting a product, sourcing a product, listing and launching. Down at the bottom of my screen here, and I'm gonna go and get, ahead and get my pointer out just so you can see it. We've got select, source, list and launch, so keep an eye on those. So when it comes to selecting a product, People search Amazon using something called keywords. So I've got a keyword here called cutting mat. And as you can see, it produces a number of results. Now, as Mike talked about, these are known as private label products. It means a factory in China is producing these en masse. And then brand owners like myself, like Mike, are printing our logo on that product. And then we're able to sell it on Amazon as our own brand. Now, this is important. The reason we want our own brand and we want to sell private label products as opposed to someone else's product is we need the listing to be owned by us. So we're the only one selling that product and we're not competing with other sellers. So if you were to go on like an Apple iPhone or a Philips uh, toothbrush or something like that, you'll see there are multiple sellers on those products. We're not in that game. We're in the game of building and developing our own branded products. So we own our listing on Amazon. Amazon. So you can see there the brands owned by there. And then what you'll see is plenty of other products meeting the same criteria, likely from very similar factories out in China. And then the brand has simply placed their logo on that product. So step one when selecting a product has to be a private label product. Now, the more demand there is for a product, the more people there is looking and searching and entering those keywords in the search box, the easier it is to sell because you have more opportunity to sell. You have more chances to make a sale. So the more demand for a product, the easier it is to sell. The less competition and the more opportunity to differentiate, meaning make your product a little bit different, the easier you make profit because the higher the conversion rate. So that means the more people look at your product, actually go ahead and buy your product because it's a little bit different and yours is better than the competition. So we want demand, we want low competition, and we want the ability to make our product better. Profit margin, then ensures that you get paid in the end. So many sellers get this wrong. They don't understand the profit numbers in a product. They go through all of the activity and all the work of selecting a product, sourcing a product, listing a product. But then when it comes to the bank account balance at the end of the day, there's no money in there because they don't understand profit margin. So it's really understand to own profit margin. So first off, let's talk about demand. On Amazon, there's something called Amazon Best Sellers Rank, or BSR for short. Now, most companies don't tell you how much their product is selling. Amazon tells us exactly how much every single product on Amazon is selling. At the bottom of every single product listing, you are going to see a thing here that says Best Sellers Rank, and it's under the product information. And you can see this product here is number 263 inside of the top level category, arts, crafts, and sewing. So 263, they're selling a lot. The lower that number is, the more demand and the more sales that product is making. So the lower it is, the more demand there is. So you need to understand that. And then using a tool, and you can write this tool down, it's called Profit Miner. It's in the Google Chrome extension store. You can install it into your Google Chrome internet browser. These tools are then able to estimate exactly how much revenue each product is making. So you can see that product I just showed you there with is at a BSR rank of 263. It's at almost $15 on the price point, is currently making $31,000 in revenue every single month. $31,000 in revenue every single month. So if we then look at another product here, and it's not just that one, you've got a cell phone stand, this is actually a pretty good product, $22,000 in revenue right now every single month on Amazon. Very simple product. This, this one made me smile earlier. It's an interactive cat toy, a little robotic interactive cat toy. This thing probably costs a couple of dollars to buy in China, making $27,000 per month every single month on Amazon. And you can see, well, we'll get into reviews in a second, but a pretty low review count as well. So how much demand is good demand? That is the question. How much demand is good demand? Ultimately, it comes back to your plan. The only plan that matters is your plan. You've just told us we need an average of $5,000 per month in profit to replace our income. Do you believe we can get to $5,000 a month in profit selling $30,000 a month in revenue? How many sales you need to make happen to get there? So it's really, you've got to understand exactly how many sales you need to make to meet that profit requirement, your plan. So profit is the amount of dollars left after buying a product and all the costs of sale so the cost of shipping it to Amazon, 
um, some a small amount of advertising on the products using Amazon's advertising platform. Amazon's fees, which we'll get to in a second, they take a small commission. After all of that taken out, that is the profit that you put in your pocket and you put in your bank account. So when it comes to profit margin, we're looking to achieve at least a 30% profit margin before advertising to cover all costs of and, and still have enough dollars to deposit in the bank. 30% we're looking for. So there is a tool on Amazon called the Amazon FBA calculator. The Amazon FBA calculator. You can Google it. It's a really easy tool to get to. Um, as you can see, for this product here, we've said, okay, the product's going to sell for $19.98. Um, selling on Amazon fees is $3. Amazon's going to ship the product for us. They charge us a pick and pack fee um, of, of doing that. So you can see $3.49 there on that. I've estimated around a dollar to get it to Amazon. Um, so you can see after $2.99 cost on the product, net profit margin $9.50. So that's a 47% profit margin. So well over that 30% that we're looking for. So for every single unit of this product that we sell, which is this one here, we would be making $9.50 on every single unit sold. If we sold 10 a day, that's almost $100 a day in profit or $3,000 a month in profit. So you can see an, a very healthy 47% profit margin. So when it comes to looking for profit margin, yes, you can get in and start calculating all those numbers, working out the cost of a product, but when looking at products on Amazon, there is a 20%, and I promised you to give you the 20% that gets the 8% of the results. Can you sell it for four times what you buy it for? That's your first sort of validation check in your head. Can I sell this product for four times what I buy it for? If you can, you're likely in the right area of profit margin to make that product work on Amazon. So you need to sell it for four times what you buy it for. This ensures that you have enough profit to be able to grow um, while still being competitive on Amazon. Now, when it comes to competition, so we've talked about demand, we're still on select here, we talked about demand. When it comes to competition, um, Amazon tells us exactly how many results we're looking at. And there's many ways of doing this. Is, this is a very top level way, but it's a very simple way of looking at this. If you search cutting mats, you'll see there are currently 724 results, which isn't actually that many. Um, there are some much bigger, bigger product results, but you can see 724 results. If I then start, typing other keywords or extended keywords, Amazon's going to suggest, is going to suggest more specific keywords. And the more specific we get with a keyword, like cutting mat self-healing, that was one of the suggestions, you can see that that number has reduced to 409. So the more specific the intent of the search, the easier it is to make profit. And I, I really want you to get that. The more specific the intent of the search, the easier it is to make profit. And by intent, I mean, you can see the, the shopper here is looking for a very specific intent around a cutting, a cutting mat, and that is the fact it, it's self-healing. Now, this is an arts and craft, I'm not really into that, but you can see this thing obviously heals itself after it's been cut. So very specific intent behind that keyword. Also, when we look at competition, as a final point, we also want to consider reviews. The first and last thing that you look at when buying on Amazon are reviews. The lower the review count of your competition, the easier you're going to find it to make profit on Amazon. Um, and as you can see here, looking at these results here, um, pretty low reviews considering, like you'll see products on Amazon with thousands of reviews. So only 123, 49, 261, very low review counts here. So reviews definitely determine competition as well. So you wanna look for a high demand product, low competition through specific keyword intent and lower uh, reviews and you're onto a winner. But then how do we differentiate? It talks about differentiation being the key to making easier profit. The easiest way to do this is use your competitors' reviews. Go and have a look at the reviews of competing products. Click through the different options on the left-hand side there and understand what people liked about the product, what they didn't like about the product, and it doesn't take long reading a few hundred of these reviews to know exactly what you need to do with that product to improve it and release a better product on Amazon. It is that simple. It is that simple. So how do you speed up your success when it comes to selecting a product? You wanna look for products, small products under five pounds in weight. We have to ship these uh, most likely from China. The lighter that is, especially by air, um, the cheaper it is. So we wanna look for lighter products under five pounds. Avoid the restricted categories. You can Google Amazon restricted categories. And it's not that you can't get into these. It's just if it's your first time starting out on Amazon, you probably wanna avoid the headaches and the potential mistakes. 
start with a simple product. Don't launch something that's got 20 different colors or different patterns, or maybe is a bit subjective based on design. Go with a simple product, one size, one color, and go generic at first and customize later. So if there is something that you can differentiate off the shelf, if, if the factory has something available that you can just choose from a menu of items, then sure, go ahead and do that. But don't start getting into creating your own product molds or designing your own products at this stage. Your objective right now is to get a product live on Amazon and start generating profits that you can quit your job. So don't go for something like this. It's big, it's bulky. There's a few moving parts there. Go for something simple like this. It's small, it's light, it's under five pounds. Right, Mike, it's prize time. Let's see if people were listening when it comes to selecting a product. So we're going to bring Mike back on and we're going to do quick question, random raffle, and then we'll dive into the next part of the training. All right, thanks, Dan. Hey, everyone, I'll pop on and say hello and show you. I've been taking notes here uh, for the presentation to make sure that I know exactly all the questions should be asking. So here's the first one. Um, now, the first person to get the answer correct is gonna win the Amazon $100 gift card. Uh, by the way, the answers, put them into the question section. I know we talk a lot about, about chat, things like that. It's the question section where everyone's already been asking the questions and uh, that's where we can see everything. So here we go. Um, we were just talking about profit margin. What is the profit margin that you should shoot for in order to be successful? Uh, all right, so I see a lot of people are getting it right. The answer is 30%. And the first person who got it right, I believe, was oh, hold on before I say that, it was Jody. Jody Guthrie, you were the first one on my screen that I saw and got it right. Congratulations, Jody. Um, if you could drop us in your email address, and then we'll make sure to email you the Amazon gift card. Now we have another raffle coming up, so definitely pay attention. I'm going to turn this back over to Dan. Thank you, Mike. Well done, Jody. Good job on listening. Cool. So, guys, we've selected a product. Step two, let's go source that product. So we've looked for a product, we found something that's high demand, low competition, looked at reviews, and we can differentiate. We're now gonna source product. Now, more than likely, you will be sourcing a product from China. Now, you can source alternative markets, India, Thailand, Vietnam, you can source from these markets, but for starting out on Amazon, your first product, more than likely, you're gonna be sourcing from China. And how we do that is we go to alibaba.com. Alibaba is a great marketplace for finding suppliers, factories, really high quality manufacturers over in China. So you can see I've searched at the top there, self-healing cutting mats, and you can see that I've got a number of results here. And you can see anywhere from sort of 192, 90 cents to $1.20 a piece. And you can see that on this supply here, we can order a minimum of 50 sets. So literally, I mean, not that you would order that for you, but for $67, you could be ordering a set of 50 here, and then you've got 500 pieces over here. Now, this one stood out to me. Um, I made a massive assumption here, uh, but definitely if, uh, there's going to be a large portion of female market in the arts and crafts. So I quite like the color of this one. I liked, there was quite a big spread on the price. That'd be something I wanted to look into. But you can see for a quantity of one to a thousand units for an inventory order, they can have this product ready to ship, ready to send to Amazon in just 10 days. So you could research a product in the next couple of days, and then within 10 days, the product could be ready to ship to Amazon. Um, and then all I would do is look at that. I can see that their Alibaba trade assurance, they're, they're verified, so Alibaba's uh, been inspected their factory. They've been trading nine years on here. They've got 93% a response rate and 91% on-time delivery rates in nine years, 4.9 stars. So a very reputable factory here. So I'll go ahead, contact that supplier and inquire about pricing um, and ask them um, if there's any modifications that you want to make. And you can see they've even indicated here that you can print your logo on that, um, on that mat. Now, if it's anything that goes in your body or on your body, then you're gonna wanna stick to your local market. So if you're in the USA, or if you're in the UK or Spain or Germany or Italy, any of those markets, Mexico, Canada, um, you're gonna to wanna to use Google and just search something like Supplements Private Label USA, Organic Supplements Private Label USA, and obviously change USA for the country that you're in. So if you, anything that goes on or in your body, go to your local market. Once we've got the supplier, we've got the factory, we then need to get it shipped from China to Amazon. Um, a great website, a great marketplace for this is Freitos.com. Absolutely fantastic website. Before this existed, this was a lot more difficult. But you can go on there, you can enter in the details of your shipment and get live instant quotes from lots of freight forwarders who are professionals in making that happen and shipping it from China over to Amazon. 
So when it comes to then designing your packaging and your logo, because obviously we're designing our own brand, you have a few options. Um, you can use your supplier. It's not really a great option. Um, you could use a friend. Everyone is a designer nowadays. Everyone's got a friend or a kid's friend or whatever that can design nowadays in Photoshop. You could go to fiverr.com and you can literally get logos made for as low as $5. It takes about three days. Um, you may end up spending more like 20, 25 because you'll have to try out a, different, a few different designers to find the quality that you want. Um, you could go to upwork.com, which is lo where loads of freelance design professionals hang out. You charge by the hour. Typically that'll cost you around two, $300. Many of these designers are the very same designers working in the big fancy agencies. Um, they're just doing moonlighting work on the side or my favorite, 99designs.com, which is a contest website. Now it is gonna cost you a bit more money, more like $300 plus, but you can put a brief on that website and over the course of five to seven days, get literally hundreds of logo designs and packaging designs back for your brand. And then a tip from me while you're doing that, give them active feedback while that's happening and you'll find the designers submit multiple versions through. So 99designs.com, these are the places where you go and get your logo and packaging done. So we've selected, we've sourced, now it's time to list our products on Amazon. Getting sales on Amazon, it's all about keywords. I need you to understand that. What people type in that search box at the top of Amazon, that's what it's all about. To make sales on Amazon, you must be found, you must be visible. So the aim of the game is to get your products listed on Amazon and then make it visible. So make your product show up for relevant keywords. So if you're selling a self-healing cutting mat, then we obviously want our product to show up in the search results when a shopper on Amazon searches for self-healing cutting mats because that is a relevant keyword that's going to generate a sale. So just an example here, coloring pencils. Um, you can see, the, uh, sorry, these are cutting mats. You can see the different results here coming through. You've got the two pack, the three pack, the three pack, and then the one on the end. And you can see the keyword in the title there, self-healing cutting mat. And as you see, this one's a three pack. And they also include the keywords um, in their bullet points as well. So it's very easy to see what keywords competitors' products on Amazon are using just by reading their titles and taking a look and reading their bullet points and their description within their listings. So you can see there, you've got self-healing healing cutting mats and self-healing cutting mat there in the bullets. So your job is to find as many relevant keywords as possible. And you want to spend time on this step. This is when it, after you've selected the products and sourced a good product at a good price, you've got that 30% profit margin. This is one of the most important steps because everything you do after this is all towards these keywords that you pick. So you want to spend some time here looking for relevant keywords that have demand. And the 20% on this that matters is you have to answer this question. Does your product match the intent of the search? So does your product match the intent of the search? When, you're, when the shopper is typing that search term into Amazon, is your product what they're thinking of? If the answer is yes, that is a relevant keyword and that is gonna generate you sales on Amazon. So once you've selected those keywords, we need to place them. There are a few places that we want to include them that really matter on Amazon. There are lots of places you can do this, but these are the three that really matter. First is the title especially the keyword that you're really going after, maybe cutting that self-healing, you want to include that at the start of your title. Your bullet points, so on the listing and your bullet points as I just showed you. And then finally, the search term field in the back of your Amazon listing. So just to give you an example of what that looks like, when you create your listing on Amazon, there is a little field in the back end there called search terms. You enter in your keywords, you, you uh, separate them with a comma, um, and that's how Amazon determines what your product is and which keywords that you want to show for. So keywords matter everywhere. And the objective, the objective of everything we're doing here is to get sales from customers searching relevant keywords. So once we've got it listed, we're now into launching, as you can see here at the bottom of the screen, we're into step four of the, step of the, the process. We're now gonna launch our product and make sure we can get it visible. And to do that, we need to get sales from customers searching relevant keywords. So if I search cutting mat three pack, as you can see up here, you can see that this product that we've been looking at appears. The idea is that the shopper on Amazon searches that keyword, clicks that listing, looks at that product listing on Amazon, probably reads the reviews, looks at the price, reads the bullet points, looks at the images, clicks down these second images, and then you want them to come across and click that buy now button. Every time that happens, you get a point this product gets a point for being relevant to this keyword and you are going to move up the search rank, move up the results on Amazon. 
So when it comes to doing this, when it comes to actually launching on Amazon, it's very simple and there are lots of ways of doing this, but this is one very simple way. We're gonna look at pricing, Amazon advertising, known as PPC and deep discounts. So when it comes to pricing, who has been to Walmart and sees these types of offers in the local supermarket like Walmart, Target, et cetera. Typically in retail, when launching a new product, you'll see a low price or you'll see 50% extra, 70% off, because at this point, you don't yet know that brand. So what that brand is doing is trading uh, social proof and credibility for price. And then the next time you come back, you see the price is back to normal because you now trust that product because they, they gave you that product at a discount for you to go try that product. That's essentially our approach to Amazon. We're applying the same retail strategy that's been used for years in retail to Amazon as a marketplace. So when doing this, you need to calculate your break even price before profit. And then when launching, make your price the most attractive for similar price products with lower reviews. So take a look at those results that you're competing with and take a look at the results that have got a lower number of reviews. Look at what price they're at. And you want to come in just a couple of dollars maybe under their price to be more attractive than they are because you don't yet have the same amount of re reviews as they do. And that's really important. You're trading price for reviews. And then as you start to generate sales, you simply increase your price slowly as you get reviews and sales, a dollar a day, a dollar every other day. And over the course of about a week or 10 days, you're going to be at your target price. So let's say our target price is $15, $20, let's say $20. You might launch at like $15. And then as you start getting reviews in and as you start generating sales, you're gonna slowly edge that price up towards that target $20 price. In addition to that, you can pay Amazon to show your product to target shoppers. So if we looked at these results again, this cutting mat, you'll see results that have this sponsored um, tag next to them. That means that these product owners, these brand owners, these sellers have paid Amazon to place their products at the top of the search results. This is known as Amazon PPC. And a combination of paying for your product to be visible with an attractive price is gonna attract people to click your product, look at your listing, and even though you might not have as, enough, uh, as many reviews as competitors, your price justifies it and they purchase your product. So the secret sauce here, is to keep it simple when launching your first product on Amazon, is to only target five exactly relevant keywords during launch. Don't go spending money on all the different keywords that aren't relevant to your products and probably won't generate sales. You only want to put shoppers on your listing that have specific intent to buy the product that you sell? Are you solving the problem they're looking to solve? And you only want to target those keywords while you're getting that social proof in the form of reviews. So while you're getting those product reviews on Amazon, you only wanna be showing up for directly relevant keywords so to maximize your chances of converting that click into a sale. So pick five to 10 exactly relevant keywords with less competition. And then inside of Amazon, there's an, there's an area called Campaign Manager, and I'll show you that in a second. You're gonna turn on Amazon's auto advertising campaign. This is so easy, you just click a button and Amazon does all the thinking for you. Um, and then you're also gonna create what's known as an exact campaign, which is where you're gonna tell Amazon, I want to show my product for these exact five or 10 keywords with Amazon's suggested bid. So Amazon's gonna tell you exactly how much you need to pay for every single click that you receive on those. And then after seven days, there is a report in Amazon called the search term report. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the data and see which keywords are generating sales. And then we're gonna update our PPC campaigns with those keywords that are generating sales. Quite simple, turn on the advertising, wait a week, look at the data, and then use that data to improve your advertising. So quick example here, just grab the screenshot, Amazon Sell Essential Advertising Campaign Manager. That's where all of that's done. And it's really, really simple to do. The third stage of launching. So We've listed our products. We've made sure we're targeting the right keywords by including them in our title bullets and backend search terms. We've listed it with an attractive price. So we've calculated what our break even is and we've come in and under our competition and we've turned on our advertising with Amazon. The next thing we're gonna do is offer a few deep discounts. So the more times a shopper searches Amazon for a relevant keyword and buys your product, the higher in the search results you're going to climb. That's really, you need to understand that process. The more time someone searches a very specific keyword and buys your product, you're gonna rise up the search results. 
The higher in the search results you get, the more people will buy your product. So your goal, your goal as selling on Amazon is to get people to search for your target keywords and buy your product. That is the aim of the game. Now to do that, we can run a very basic Facebook promotion offering up to 70% off your product with an Amazon promotional code. You may have even experienced this as a shopper when you've seen a promotional code on Facebook for an Amazon product. You go over to Amazon, you enter that promotional code when checking out and it gives you that discount. So when looking at that going, well, why would I give a discount on my product? Ask, let me ask you this question. Would you pay $1,500 now to make $5,000 per month every month in the future? Give me a yes or a no in the chat box. Would you pay $1,500 right now to make, if you knew that you could make $5,000 per month every single month in the future? I'm getting yes, 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 definitely. Yes, Ovi says yes. Adrian says yes. Erica, Steve, Hector. Guys, absolutely. That is what Amazon is. So yes, we're going to give out some discounts on our products. And it's not many. We'll go into that in a second. Knowing that by doing that, we're going to get our products up to the top of Amazon and a month from now potentially be earning $5,000 a month in profit on that product. So when it comes back to how much money do I need and when, now it's time to go into what's known as a sales forecast. So before we get into this, is everyone with me? Does everyone get this? And is everyone enjoying themselves understanding how to pick a product on Amazon? Give me a number nine in the chat box if you're with me. Let me know you're still here and understanding this. Are you having any ideas, thinking of products? I bet for, for any of you that haven't come across this before, you will never look at Amazon the same way again, I promise you. You'll be walking around Walmart going, that's a good Amazon product. We all have fallen guilty to that. Okay, so when it comes to how much money do I need and when to get this business started, there are two things that we have to look at. The first is a sales forecast, because we need to understand exactly how much money are we going to make and when. So for the accountants and for the finance professionals on the, on the call, this is a very basic forecast. And for anyone that's scared of numbers, I'm going to walk you through it. Don't worry, I've got you. Um, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So we're currently um, in May coming into June. So we're looking at June. And you can see here sales by units. I've got product one and product two. So my target price for product one is $25 and my target price for product two is $20. My, I've gone to Alibaba, I've spoken to the suppliers, and I know that I can buy product one for $6.25, and I know I can buy product two for $5. So I'm hitting that sort of uh, 4X ratio, buying for five, selling for 20. I'm hitting that four times ratio. Now, if I was to place my order here, which I'll come into in a little while, I know that I could be up and selling on Amazon by about August. 2020. And all I would need to do is achieve 10 sales per day, 10 units per day. And I'd be doing around 300 units per month in sales of that product. I then improve, I launch my product, I improve my advertising, I start climbing that visibility within the search results. So I start selling more like 12, 13, 15 a day. And then I get up to 20 a day by October. And I'm selling 20 units every single day of this product at $25. By November, we start to get towards Black Friday, which why guys, this is a perfect, the perfect time to start this business right now, because Black Friday goes crazy. So even though um, normally we'll, we will double sales on Black Friday, I'm gonna say that we, uh, we had about five units a day by November, so we're at 25 units a day roughly. And then in December, you can expect at least a double increase because of Christmas shopping in December. So by December, I've sold selling 1,200 units a month that's 40 units a day of this product one at $25. And then in January 21, 2021, which is our target month for leaving, quitting our job, leaving our business, whatever, getting away from whatever pain you're in right now, we're back down to about 600 as sort of the Christmas shopping dies off. But there is still a halo effect because everyone's been bought uh, Amazon vouchers for Christmas. So all of those sales translate to what is called revenue. So the, the dollars that come in as a result of those sales. So you can see 300 units in August, $7,500. For the first product, $1,125 in September times 25, $15,000 in revenue in October, $20,000 in November, $30,000 in December, 15. And then you can see, because we started to launch our second product around October, 
you can see that we've got $8,000 in revenue from our second product doing 400 a day and $12,000 in monthly revenue from our second product doing 600 a month. And then, sorry, you got $10,000 from our second product doing 500 units per month. So very conservative numbers here. So in December, Christmas shopping, we're only expecting to do 20 units every single day, about 600 units a month from product two. So that would give us total gross revenue in August of 7,500, 11,000, 15,000, 28,000, 42,000 in December, and then back to 25,000 in January. And then next, let's look at the cost. So I know that everyone talks about um, sales revenue, but we're interested in profit because profit is what's gonna replace your income. So I've assumed a few numbers here, and I'm gonna explain how I've done this. So with my advertising, I'm assuming 30% of revenue for the launch month, and I'm assuming 10% of revenue for the months thereafter, and that's pretty normal. That's about average, 30% for launch, 10% thereafter. So you can see 30%, 10%, 10%, and then as because we launched product two here, we've also got 30% of product two, and then we go to 10% onwards. Amazon fees, now Amazon charged two separate fees, but I'm gonna summarize it as a rough 20%. It's roughly 20%, depending on the size, weight of the products, et cetera. But it's about 20%, all in with all your pick and pack. It's 15% plus pick and pack. So of my sales, I can see 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 8,000. Promotional units, so we talked about those deep discounts. I've budgeted for 150 promotional units in the first month of launch and 70 promotional units in the second month of launch. And you can see that kicks in again here in November because of product two, and again here in December because of product two, because we're launching there. And finally, my costs of goods sold, which is basically what it costs us to buy times by how many units we sold. You can see that that adds up there. So our total cost of sale, would be 9,000, 8,000, 8,000, 20,000, 24, 13. So you can see how the costs come up against the profit, uh, sorry, against the sales, but where does that leave us in profit? So we get started today, it's May. We don't actually start selling till August. So the first month we take a small loss of $1,800, but then immediately in September, we're into a gross profit of $3,000. October, we're into a gross profit of 6,700. November, we're into a gross profit of 8,000. December into a gross profit of 17,000 in January, the month we're leaving our job, we're into a gross profit of $11,000. So really important you understand this. This is a sales forecast, but this doesn't determine when we have to spend money and how much cash is in the bank. So let me just go through that. This is known as a cash flow forecast, and this tells us exactly how much this is gonna cost, when, and how much money we're gonna have at the end of the day. So everything in gray here is everything we just went through. It's the sales forecast we just went through. But when do we actually need to spend money to make this happen? So if we get started today, end of May, we find a product, we get going, we would need to pay a 30% deposit to our factory in China in the start of June, around June. So we can expect to pay a, a 600, uh, sorry, a $6.25 cost, ordering 700 units. Um, we would expect to pay around $1,300 in a deposit and then $3,000 in July. With, that's the cost of our first product's batch of inventory. So we wouldn't have any more cost in August. And then we'd be looking to place a second order of inventory because we'd sell through our inventory by that date. And then you can see product two, we bring it in in September. So you can see the same deposits, 30, 70, 30, 70. But look at what happens to the cash on hand. And this is the, this is the important piece for you. So yes, okay, we're investing in our inventory up front. So we're investing a few thousand dollars in our inventory. And these numbers here are on the higher end. Um, but we invest in our inventory up front. But look, by the time we start making sales in August, September, and October, by October, we're actually $4,250 in net profit, cash in the bank, taking into account all of our previous investment. So our sales are already paying off this investment here, and we're already into the profit here by October. We're into 20,000, almost $20,000 in cash in the bank by November. $46,000 in cash in the bank by December, $59,000 in the cash in the bank by January. And if you look and we're taking a 20%, 20% salary. So let's say you want to take 20% out of the business. We all said $5,000 is where we needed to get to. Just 20% of that cash in the bank at that point would be $11,000. So more than twice 
what we said we needed to earn to leave our job in January 2021. And just look at how this continues to stack as well. So January 2021, nearly $12,000. By February, if we took 20%, we'd have 75,000 in the bank. If we took 20% out, that'd be 15,000 in your pocket. By March, with continued sales, we'd have 92,000 potentially in cash. We take 18 out. And you can sort of see how this stacks. It goes 11, 15, 18, 21. So by April 2021, following this plan, launching just two products on Amazon with a very small investment up front that very quickly recovers itself, you could be earning between 10 and 20,000 a month. Um, every single month in cash and still have money in the bank to go and order more products on Amazon. So if we then break this down into a timeline, back to that diagram we talked about about an hour ago, select source list launch, we went through those four stages, then we're going to sustain, repeat, grow and optimize. This is kind of the timeline that we're looking at. So you would need to select a product by June 7th, plenty of time. It's the 21st of May. If you spent just one hour every single day looking through products on Amazon, I promise you will have a list longer than your arm. We then need to source our product. The response times on Alibaba are crazy. You can get a response on Alibaba in less than 24 hours, often in a few hours, two or three hours, and you've got a detailed response with a price. We would then need to place that order, pay that 30% deposit, and shipping typically takes by C anywhere from 20 to 30 days, depending on the route that you take. 22 days is an average. So it can take anywhere from 20 to 30 days to ship. So we'd want to get that order in with a supplier and get that shipping arranged with a, with a freight forwarder or Freightos. And we'd want to be listed on Amazon. So we want to create our Amazon listing, create our images, write our title and our bullets by July 26th to be launching by the first week of August. So we wanna be launching by the first week of August. Now, depending on how competitive the product is, a launch can take anywhere from one week to three weeks, four weeks, depending on how competitive it is. But ultimately, by the end of August, we're gonna be into sustaining sales. We should be hitting our target price, hitting those 10, 20 units a day, and starting to hit those three, 400 units per month um, type numbers. And then we want to repeat that entire process again by November. So September, October, November, you've got another three months to do this. We're going to find a second product while selling our first product. We're going to launch that second product and we want to be selling by November. And then we're going to continue to grow and optimize through Black Friday, through Christmas shopping. Amazon goes crazy. I mean, it's going crazy now anyway, but through the end of the year, it's going crazy. We're going to optimize those profit down, optimize those sales and the advertising. And we're going to leave our job leave our business that we're a slave to by January 2021 and potentially be earning twice what you need to be to quit your job and replace your income, whatever that might be. So Mike, second prize time. Let's see if people followed the numbers. I know the numbers can be a bit dense. Let's see if people were following along. All right. So uh, I promise not to ask you guys any detailed questions about what the value of Q22 sell is or anything like that. Um, I'm going to go back a little bit further than that. Also, want to just make a note, we're getting tons of great questions. Um, Imram, uh, Allison, Dor, Dia, uh, we're flagging a lot of these. If we're not answering, we're trying to answer as many as we can. If we don't answer it, we're going to get to them all at the end shortly. So keep them coming. These are, these are great questions, folks. But all right, so here is the question. First person to get it right wins our $100 Amazon gift card. Early on, uh, Dan was talking about focusing on just a certain number of keywords when you're starting off using Amazon's pay-per-click. How many exact keywords do you start off targeting? So he gave a real number. Let's see what it is. All right, people are starting to answer right now. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, my screen's going crazy with responses, guys. So here we go. First answer is Sharon. Sharon, you answer the correct number. Just start off with five exact keywords uh, when you get going. That's a perfect number, and you can always expand later on. Sharon, drop us your email if you don't mind. That way we can get you the $100 Amazon gift card. Dan, it's back to you. Awesome. Thank you, Mike. Guys, so look, the great thing about doing this, the great thing about picking a product, selecting a product, sourcing a product, listing and launching, is after that, Amazon does all of the heavy lifting for us. Amazon takes care of finding the customers. You're the great thing about Amazon, instead of launching your own website, is you're tapping into a pond full of fish. All you've got to do is throw your rod out as opposed to having to go and find your own fish. So Amazon find all your customers for you. They take care of all the credit card processing and fraud. They take care of all shipping and fulfillment. You never have to touch your product. You definitely want to get a sample of it during that sourcing piece, but you never have to touch and store your own product. You don't need big warehouses. No website maintenance, website crashing, updates to make to your website. 
And best of all, Amazon handle the majority of the customer service. You will handle some questions that you get, but Amazon handle all of the returns and all that stuff that goes on when it comes to selling physical products. And they also, yeah, as I said, returns and refunds. You as the brand owner and as the seller on Amazon, you take care of your branding. So we want to make sure that we're, we're focusing around the customer, we're releasing complimentary products as we'll talk about here shortly. You focus on your branding. Inventory management, you want to make sure that you stay in stock. So you notice on that cash forecast, I'd forecasted every two or three months to be placing another order just to make sure that I'm staying in stock. I want to keep my ordering lean, but I want to keep that order in stock. Um, but wait, what's the secret then? What, what is the secret? This is so easy. The secret is you just simply repeat. You just repeat. You focus on repeating. So everyone knows who this guy is. Drop in the chat box. Who's this guy? Give me his name in the chat box if you know who we're talking about here. Warren Buffett. Yeah, there you go. Warren, Warren, Warren. So when Warren was a teenager, he bought a pinball machine. Using the profits of that pinball machine that he placed, I believe it was in a bar or something, he bought a second pinball machine. He then used the profits of that pinball machine to buy another two pinball machines. And that's where Warren got started and sold that business for a few thousand dollars, which back then was a lot of money. So how do we translate to this business? Well, you launch one product and then you launch a complimentary second product and then you launch another two complimentary products. And by complimentary, I mean the customer that buys the first product is the same customer that would buy the second product. You want to build a brand of related products because then you have all that cross sell opportunity that goes on with an existing customer base. It is really that simple. You just rinse and repeat this system. Build out a brand, focusing on a niche. Something you're interested in is often the simplest way of getting going and build out a company range of products. So let's just have a quick look at what a $1 million business looks like. Five products selling 25 units per day at an average selling price of $25 is $93,750 in revenue per month, or 1.12 million per year in revenue. At a 30% profit base, which we can achieve through good optimization before owner's compensation for all the uh, finance and accountants on the call, um, that's $337,000 in profit per year. Who here could do with an extra 300 grand a year in profit? At uh, a 3X multiple, which is how these businesses are valued, three times the previous 12 months, you would get an income of a million dollars on the sale. Um, just as my friend Phil did, he got multiple millions in the story at the be beginning of this workshop. What does that look like? Three years from now is the typical timeline. Just sit for a second and imagine yourself selling one of these businesses for a million dollars. It's a nice thought, isn't it? It's a nice goal to have. So, so far on this webinar, we have covered the exact steps that you need to take to launch your product and replace your income by January 2021. We've covered how to pick high demand, high profit products with low competition. We've covered exactly how much cash you will need to start your business and when to invest in inventory. And remember, you don't need it all up front. You spread it out 30, 70 and so on. And finally, we covered the start to finish roadmap to run your Amazon business with deadlines to hold you accountable. So if you really do want to build a dream life, you want to replace your income, you want to quit that job, stop being a slave to the nine to five or a slave to your business, what does that look like for you? Is it 10,000 a month in profit to get that house that you've always wanted? Is it 2,000 a month in profit to get that Tesla? Do you want to put your kids through college? Would you be, love to put your kids confidently through college? Or maybe when this crazy world's um, opened up, travel the world and do things you always never thought you would be able to do. What will you lose if you don't try this? This is what I really want you to think about right now. What would you lose if you don't try this? I want to tell you, share a quick story. So this lovely couple here went from being burnt out eye doctors to multi-millionaires, Dr. Jenna and Dr. Travis. They generated $3 million a year on Amazon and using that business, using that revenue, this crazy opportunity that Amazon presents, they're now able to help people in third world countries using their skill set as eye doctors. They're now able to travel the world helping people while earning $3 million passively on Amazon. So I have a few questions here for you today right now, and I want to get the answers in the question box. Have you enjoyed your time so far? Let me know if you've enjoyed this. Let me know if you're enjoying this so far. Give me a yes, cool, awesome. Have you found it valuable? Are you getting value out of this, guys? Let me know and we'll keep going. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, awesome. Do you now feel more comfortable 
with your ability to make money leveraging Amazon. Do you now feel more comfortable with that? Awesome. And I want to know, have you come up with any good products or brand ideas that you already feel excited about exploring? Any, any a lot of aha moments? Yes, a lot. Yes, a lot. Awesome. Absolutely. Yes, so valuable. Awesome. Thank you guys for the feedback. And is it fair to say that using this simple four-step system, the, the select, source, list, and launch, would give you complete clarity on exactly what you need to do next to be successful? Do you feel a lot more clear now about doing that? Awesome. So I have absolute confidence that you could take everything we have covered here today on your own and go out and put it into action and get results that you previously thought weren't possible. I'm certain with just the information that we've covered on this webinar today, left on your own with your own resources, time and effort, you can make a go at this in a way that most people can't. But guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I can't cover everything in just one training meeting, just one time here on this webinar. You could do all of this on your own, but I don't recommend it, and here's why. I don't, there's a big risk of wasting time with Amazon. There's a very specific formula. There's a big risk of wasting a lot of money if you don't get it right, and you might choose the wrong product in the wrong market and may even miss important parts of the marketing strategy. And you won't know how to get through those common obstacles because you're not following someone that's been there and done it before, and you will repeat the same mistakes that myself, Mike, Rich, all of our team have made in the past. So what if there were another option, an option that allowed us to go at this together, a chance to go deeper than we can in one training on one webinar connecting just one time? What if I played an active role in your results, took responsibility for your success and had an obligation to your outcome? How would that make things different for you? Do you think in that situation I can empower you with any and all resources at our disposal to stack the deck in your favor and make success all but inevitable. If we had shortcuts and a support system and additional insights that go even deeper and more thorough into getting the result that you want, desire, and guys, quite frankly, deserve for being here today live on this call, if I had such an option for you, would you like to hear more about it and what it could do for you? Give me a yes in the chat box if you'd like to hear more about that. Yes, please. Edward saying yes. Ovi, yes. Lauren, yes. Paulie, yes. Awesome. So, I am very pleased to introduce and announce Amazing Selling Machine, which is a proven step-by-step -step program to achieve success. It will save you thousands of hours and avoid, help you avoid huge, huge mistakes. It will guide you through building a profitable business faster and easier than ever before and give you inside access to me and other multi-million dollar experts selling on Amazon. We will help you create a valuable brand for you that you own forever and achieve the freedom that you've always wanted. You see, there are four key pillars of rapid business success. The first is a proven system to follow. The second is experts to help, uh, to get, help you get there. The third is a great environment for success. You hear that you are the equal of the five people around you. And the fourth is the right tools and resources to shortcut all of that research and, and making sure that you end up with the right keywords, et cetera. That is what Amazing Selling Machine is. So Amazing Selling Machine is a step-by-step -step online web class. There are 153 video lessons, eight modules, 40 hours of content, which allows you to go at your own pace. It's kind of like Netflix, guys. You can watch anytime, easy to follow videos, and the best thing of all, you get free updates for life. We're constantly updating the program. And you can start right here today. Instead of watching Netflix tonight, jump into the program and start learning how to build your future. So you've got myself there on the left. We've got Rich Henderson, a co-creator and head trainer. Mike, Matt, um, Matt Clark there on the top right. There are lots of very successful people involved in putting this together who have all been there and done it and built this business. So the web class overview, there are 14 to 21 lessons per module. Each lesson and module builds on what you've learned and done previously. And there is a bonus welcome module included to get you started and help you open up that Amazon account. And along the way, you're going to earn badges to reward yourself for progress. Modules one to four is the exact process to find your perfect product to sell. Module two is how to find high quality, low cost products. Module three helps you create an irresistible brand that stands out. Module four is going to walk you through laying your marketing foundation before you launch. 
We then get into module five, that's crafting a high converting product page. So that's when we list our products. We're gonna walk you through exactly how to type that title, the bullets, create really high converting imagery, and all the stuff that goes into making sure that when someone lands on your listing, they buy your product. We're gonna walk you through step by step, and this is my module, we're gonna walk you through step by step, over the shoulder, how to successfully launch that product on Amazon. We're gonna give you advanced marketing and traffic tools, one-click solutions that just get your products on Amazon. And we're gonna help you scale your business to build your dream life. And guys, you can do all of this in as little as one hour per day. As Mike talks about in his story, he was working a grinding nine to five job. He spent one to two hours a day on this business and built it to seven figures and left his job in just one year. And you can do that too, just like Mike did. So in one hour a day, you can build this business. In addition to the web class, you then get access to the mentor program. Now, this is possibly the best part of this program. You get access to 21 real experts, all Amazon sellers themselves, who average around 1.8 million in sales on Amazon every single year. They're available pretty much 24 seven with a time difference across everyone. And they help you, they're there to help you push through those obstacles. It's one thing consuming this information, it's another thing implementing it, and the mentors are there to help you push through that and speed up your success avoiding those major mistakes. Just getting help avoiding the mistakes that you can make in this business is worth the cost of this program altogether. Um, and as you can see there, a snapshot of over $3 million in earnings in that account. As well as that, you get access to the private community, which is a private forum area. There's 25,000 active members, over 5,000 weekly interactions across 138 countries, full of seven-figure sellers. So seven figures means more than a million dollars a year, full of multi-million dollar sellers, and they're there to give you motivation and inspiration and hold you accountable to executing this plan. You know you're 95% more likely to be successful if you hold yourself accountable to a plan. As well as that, we're gonna give you all of our private connections and contacts for every area in this business. This is our private collection, our personal contacts, there are 44 resources within here, over $10,000 worth of resources, expert freight forwarders, people that we're using every day in our own businesses, top product photographers, and a hell of a lot more in that resource vault. Just this alone um, is worth the investment. So as well as that, we have a suite of software tools. So you remember that I talked about needing to do research, keyword research, and spend time on doing that keyword research. We're gonna give you access to software that does all of that hard thinking for you and gives you a list of highly relevant keywords with high demand that have been searched on Amazon every single day. And this deal is exclusive for members of Amazing Selling Machine. We have the product finder software, the keyword finder as I just talked about, and you get also unlimited keyword tracking, which means you know exactly where your products are ranked on Amazon every single minute of every single day, and you can see the performance of your everything you're doing. We're also gonna give you a tool that automatically follows up with your customers and asks for reviews, helping you get those reviews faster and be more competitive. And all of this is 100% free for a full year. So you don't even have to pay for this software for an entire year of being on Amazon, and you've seen already by January 2021, we can be into some serious profits in the business and in your pocket. So Amazing Selling Machine, it really is your program for success. You get the online web class, the mentor program, access to the private community, the private resource vault, the seller software tools, which if we were to put a value against them all, would be around $10,000 in value, $4,000 for the course, Two and a half thousand for the mental program, $997 for access to the private community. You really can't put a price on that. $1,500 for the resource vault and $1,200 for the software tools. But the real value of what you get, guys, with the amazing selling machine, the real value, and I say this honestly because it changed my life in 2015, is the exact blueprint to build your own business. We're going to help you create a brand with a one to three million dollar a year opportunity systematically repeatable processes to go as big as you want. I've got friends doing into $100 million in this business. Most important, we're gonna give you an opportunity for a lifetime of freedom. You will no longer have to fear where your next paycheck's coming from or uh, potential another pandemic situation. You are in control, taking control of your future, replacing your income and taking control of that income moving forward. Just think about what that does for you, your life and your loved ones around you. So quick few people, real people, real results. You can see Boris here saying boom to 40,000 um, in 30 days. Daniel here, 329,000 in 30 days. Yanning on the right hand side there, in just six months she went over, I know Yanning personally, in just six months she was over $100,000 um, a month in revenue. 
Um, and on the left-hand side there, you can see 58,000 um, or $8,000 today in one day. Here we've got Paul. Paul here doing $127,000 in one month there, a 30-day period. So at this point, you have a decision to make. You can take the path of success where you can do nothing and potentially end up on that path of failure. But if you were to take the path of failure, what's at stake? One product in this business doing 25 sales a day at $10 profit is $7,500 per month in profit. Just one product could help you quit your job by January 2021, replace your income, get away from your business that you're a slave to, whatever your current situation is, just one product at 25 sales a day does that. Two products, 15 grand in profit, four products, 30 grand in profit. This is what's at stake if you don't take this opportunity and you, you end up on that path of failure. So George here, a little less than a year ago, I earned my 25,000 badge. Today, I've qualified for my 50,000 badge, and that was February just earlier this year. So which of these, tell me in the chat box, which of these fit you right now? Are you tired of trading time for money at a nine to five job? Give me a two in the chat box if that's you. Are you tired of trading time for money at a nine to five job? I wanna see those twos roll in, yep. Do you want to control your own financial destiny? Are you tired of this pandemic, tired of this lockdown, tired of the uncertainty and everything that's going on in the world? Do you want to take control of your future? Do you want to be able to provide for those ones you love? Maybe you're caring for someone. Maybe you want to get your kids through college. If this is you, continue to give me those twos in the chat box. Are you ready to never have to go into an office again? Imagine not having to go back to an office. Think how blissful that would be. You can work in your uh, jogging bottoms, in your shorts every single day. Do you believe that you could be really successful with the right help? And I'm more interested in that last question. Give me a three in the chat box if you believe you could be really successful with the right help. I wanna see those threes rolling in. You have to be confident in yourself, absolutely. Well, we, I know we can help you, and this is how I know we can help you. We've been doing this for peop with people just like you for eight years, over eight years we've been doing this. We've helped people from 138 countries. We know every single strategy to grow online, and we know every mistake you must avoid, and I've made a few. Like we can help you get success faster and with a much, much less stress than going at this on your own. So let's address the obvious question. What's your investment to speed up your success and get started with ASM right away? Well, the average cost of one year of college is $25,000, but the average cost of a student loan borrower who graduated college is $28,000, and that was according to a study in 2017. Students are coming out of college with $28,000 in debt um, as a result of that education. So what's the investment to speed up your success with ASM? It's not $28,000, although it's more than worth that. It's not even $25,000. Normally, normally you can join ASM for $4,997 and get started right away at asmnow.com forward slash roadmap and there are payment plans available but i want you to wait for a second i want you to wait we have a very special bonus for you here today we're going to give you 500 dollars off the regular price because we understand in these uncertain times we want to make it as easy as possible for you to start building your dream life you can get the eight module web course the asm mentorship program the private alliance community of amazon sellers and the resource vault for just $4,497, and there is a payment plan available. That's $500 off the regular price. And to do that right now, you need to go to asmnow.com forward slash roadmap, asmnow.com forward slash roadmap. You see it here at the bottom of the screen. Jump over into there and sign up and join us inside our amazing selling machine. So why are we giving $500 off? Well, listen, the doors to amazing selling machine is closing very soon. I'm talking in the next um, week or so, the doors to ASM are closing. And the reason for that is we are releasing ASM 12 in the coming months, which is a brand new, completely rewritten, updated version. So why would you wait, why would you join now and not just wait to join ASM 12 in a couple of months? Well, the reason is quite simple. ASM is still the best there is and is constantly being updated. It's not we're just updating the platform, releasing new tools, but it's still the best training on the market. Each month you wait is another month of missed revenue, profits, and opportunities. So if we're targeting January 2021 and you wait, we're, we're going to miss 
that opportunity. You can start finding your products right away, right now, by accessing Amazing Selling Machine and save $500 in the meantime. That $500 can be contributed towards that first inventory order and you can get going a lot sooner, meaning you get a head start on everyone else starting over a month from now. And as well as that, if you join us here today, as well as getting $500 off, we're also going to give you priority access to the brand new ASM 12. This is the updated course that includes four brand new software tools, one of which is a product analyzer that will help you decide which low competition, high profit products are the best choice for your business. We're gonna give you access to every new tool, training and resource the same day they are released. And what this means for you, as you can lay the groundwork now for your business, start right now, and then get all the latest strategies, tactics, and tools and resources um, to build this business fast as soon as ASM is released, ASM 12 is released next month. Now, normally, normally, you would not have access for this for at least a couple of months thereafter, but if you sign up with us today, Amazing Selling Machine, you're gonna get priority access, which means you get immediate access the day it releases, a good month, ahead of everyone else, meaning you get a head start on everyone else. And best of all, by signing up right away, you're gonna get your hands on some extra special bonuses. And this isn't something we normally do, and I don't believe we've done it before. We're also, we're also gonna give you access to every single bonus that is included with ASM 12. So this is normally only available to new ASM 12 members a couple of months from now. But as well as the bonuses here on the webinar today, you're also gonna get all of the bonuses we include in ASM 12 next month. So as well as the $500 off, then you're also going to get all of ASM's 12 bonuses. Each bonus that is packaged with a new ASM 12 is designed to save you money and time so you can efficiently bring your first product to market as fast as possible and replace your income by January 2021. Now those bonuses, the details of those bonuses will be released as we launch ASM next month, ASM 12, but you're gonna sit there confidently getting started right now ahead of everyone else, knowing that you get all of that included and you get $500 off the price, the cheapest price you will see uh, released for this. So get started now ahead of everyone else at asmnow.com forward slash roadmap. So all you need to do is visit asmnow.com forward slash roadmap before this live session ends, guys. This is the important piece to save that $500 before this live session ends. Fill out the secure registration form and you will receive a welcome email and private login details. Simply log into the membership and start building your new future. Again, just one hour per day, you can do that. With the bonuses, we know that we can change your life in as little as one hour per day. This business is your path to freedom. I promise you, I've been surrounded by thousands of people that have achieved the same result. And the world will eventually get back to normal, but when? When are you gonna take control of your future, take control of your income, and take control of your future destiny? We want to help you move as fast as possible. So we're giving you that $500 off Amazing Selling Machine. We're giving you priority access to the brand new ASM 12 when it releases next month. And we're going to give you access to every single bonus included with ASM 12, which means you can get started right now and get access to the latest strategies next month when we release them, as well as all of those bonuses, knowing that you saved $500 in doing so. So to sign up right now, you go to asmnow.com forward slash roadmap. So you get 153 video lessons, 40 hours of content, access to 21 real experts, the private community access, 41 resources, over $1,200 worth of software, and more importantly, those speed to market bonuses that no one else is getting, only you guys here on the live call. Your investment, if you take the payment plan, is six months of 997. You're gonna spend around $1,200 in your first inventory order. So ordering a cheaper product, a lower inventory volume, around $1,200, and you're gonna spend as little as one hour per day. The potential profit for doing this, just two products is $15,000 a month in profit. So we're gonna quit our jobs, replace our incomes, leave that slave of our business by January 2021 and be generating 15,000 a month in our pocket or $180,000 per year. So quickly, let's talk about why you wouldn't do this. Maybe you're afraid to fail. Maybe you're afraid to waste money, afraid to waste time, or maybe even afraid to look stupid. Look, I get it. I get that internal fear. Let's quickly address these. So afraid to fail. Guys, we're gonna give you a 100% risk-free guarantee, which means you can try Amazing Selling Machine for 30 days, go through the content, go through the training, unconditionally try everything out, watch the lessons, get help from the mentors, use the resources, 
And if in that first 30 day period, you decide that this business isn't for you, don't worry about it. We will give you a 100% refund on your investment. Unconditional, no questions asked, refund on your investment. But we're gonna go a step further. And this is something that you won't see anywhere. And this is how confident we are in helping you build your future and be successful. We have something called the 2020 Success Agreement. And this is just crazy. It's completely failure proof. And it states over the next eight months or so, seven or eight months to the end of 2020, providing that you launch a new product in the next four months and execute and implement all of the marketing that we teach you in the next five months, we will give you a 100% refund on ASM, a 100% refund. But not only that, not only the 100% refund, if you're afraid to waste money, we will also purchase up to $5,000 in unsold inventory back from you. So you have till the end of the calendar year, the end of 2020, to try this business out, get a product live, implement all the marketing. And if you still decide that the business isn't for you and you, you've followed the system, you've implemented the training, we're gonna give you 100% refund on the course and buy back up to $5,000 in inventory. This is a complete no-brainer, guys. It's completely risk-free. We're giving you a complete pass to try the business and leave your job by 2021. If you're afraid to waste time, as we keep saying, you can build this business in just one hour per day and you can build this business to be wildly successful. And if you're afraid to look stupid, we're pulling out some news articles here. You can see e-commerce revenue has experienced a 52% revenue growth this year already. 52% as a result of the COVID uh, pandemic, people shopping online, consumers behavior is changing. My nanny is now shopping on Amazon. Everyone is shopping on Amazon get on the train, get into the opportunity. And I promise you, you will not be stupid. Your friends will be asking, so what's that Amazon business you run? Like Phil did to me in 2015, and then recently sold his business for multiple million dollars. So if you want to join us, go to asmnow.com forward slash roadmap. And we cannot wait to see you as part of the community like Jessica did, who's saying she's getting more sales than usual right now. And Lou there commenting saying, my sales are four X normal, four times normal today. It's crazy. Amazing.com, we've been around a long time, 127,000 likes on uh, Facebook, 4.7 out of five from 588 reviews. That's not normal. You don't normally see stuff like that for a train company, especially on Facebook. And you can see this uh, recommendation here from Mike. I started selling on Amazon in 2013 following each of the methods taught an amazing program. With just a starting budget of under $3,000, I'm now doing well over $1 million of sales annually with just two employees. This has enabled me to put all of my four kids through a very expensive private university. That's something I never thought I'd be able to do. It's not hype, it's practical step-by-step -step instruction that just works. And we've got plenty more of where they come from. So guys, what happens if you wait? What happens if you sit there and wait and wait for this opportunity? You're gonna miss this market opportunity that's available right here, right now today. By tomorrow, you could be going through the training, picking your first product and speaking to suppliers in Alibaba, and within a couple of weeks, be shipping that product to Amazon, getting ready to sell. You're gonna have lack of financial control. We are in an uncertain world right now. It's slowly getting back to normal, but what can we consider normal? What does our future income look like? And I, this is the worst thing I'd want for you, is I don't want to have this life of should-haves. I don't want to work yourself into the ground for the next 30 years, looking back going, what if I'd taken a different path, the path of success? And you will miss out on the opportunity, the speed to market bonuses, the $500 off, priority access to the brand new ASM that's releasing next month, access to all of the bonuses that get released with that release as well, knowing that you saved $500 while doing so. It's absolutely a no-brainer. And more importantly, that 2020 success guarantee that allows you to try this business completely risk-free for the next six months and providing you follow the, the, the system, implement the training, hit those deadlines, we will give you a full refund and buy back up to $5,000 in inventory. So got a quick story here. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this. Um, sound is not great, but just listen in for a second. You know, for us, this is, this is life changing. You know, what it, the, most, the biggest priority for us was to spend more family time. So I think that's, that's what's most valuable is spending that time together. And I was gone like four nights a week or whatever in sales. and I get home and, they, and we have two small kids, a four-year-old and an 18-month-old now, but they were even smaller then. And, and you know, they'd be like, they would change. It'd be so different. I was missing out on so much. And so that's what we call it, Operation Bring Daddy Home. So the fact that we're able to spend unlimited time together as a family 
and we have just just something you put up on YouTube. Yeah, just, um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's not life changing for us. That's going to be life changing for them and, and all that quality time that, that we get. So you can see, guys, that was Dave and Leah, good friends of ours. They implemented the training. They joined us. Uh, they recently sold their business, actually, for multiple million dollars, and they were back into starting again. By sitting on a training like you are right here, right now in this moment, they took action. They took that leap of faith, and you heard what it did for their family and their business. So I come back to the very same point. You can't control what's happening in the world right now, but you can control how you choose to respond. And I encourage you to make that choice to go to asmnow.com forward slash roadmap, join Amazing Selling Machine, start building your future, building a real business, releasing physical products on Amazon and building that uh, life that you never thought you could ever achieve. I've been there personally and done it and it is magical. So you have two choices, do nothing and tomorrow will be the same as today. It literally is the definition of insanity. Or you could take control, commit to changing your future path and join us inside of Amazing Selling Machine at asmnow.com forward slash roadmap. So sign up now, guys. If there is something that you need to know to help you decide if this is right for you, then now is the time to ask it because every single minute that goes by is another minute that this offer may fill up. That $500 discount, that priority access to ASM12, that 2020 success agreement, access to all the bonuses, Everything we're offering you here today on the call to get you set up for success in the future, all of that is filling up right now. So if you do have any questions, please ask them. Amazing Selling Machine is everything that you need to be successful. The online web class, the mental program, the private community, the resource vault, the software tool suite, the free updates for life, the 30-day money-back guarantee, the 2020 success agreement, priority access to ASM12 as it releases next month, a total value of $23,282. But you can join us here today for a one-time investment of $4,500 or six payments of 997, six payments of 997. So you can start today with, with just $997 and start going through the program, building your future. So guys, Mike, let's get the questions rolling. Um, I hope you guys got value from that. Let's, uh, let's pick up some of these questions. Awesome, thanks so much. And I'll tell you what, Dan, why don't you grab a drink of water? I'll take the first couple questions for you. Uh, you did an awesome job. Tons of kudos, tons of thanks from everyone on the training. Uh, there's Love one that. question. I got probably 50 questions flagged here. Can't think of the person that said, said that they paid $3,000 for some course on eBay and you provided more value in this you know, 90 minute training workshop than they did on something that they, they paid for. So just awesome, awesome, awesome job. But let's get right to the questions. All right. So the first one I got, this is from Atul. He's asking, with COVID-19, the lockdown affecting everything, what are the negatives? What are the negatives that we're seeing because of that? Uh, well, granted, you know, most of what we're seeing from an online business, like what we are training you to do, it's all positive. With more people being at home, more people buying products they need, more people buying different products they never thought of, it's been great. As you can just look at Amazon sales and Amazon stock, you'll understand exactly what we mean. Um, this, this crisis and no one wants to take advantage of it no one wants to you know like opportunize it but it really has exploded and made the e-commerce business industry uh even more valuable than it ever was and it was already going so quickly and so and the value and the and the, the way to really build a business quickly was already at the highest i've ever seen it well it's even went above and beyond that right now so there's not a lot of negatives i guess if there are some negatives let's, let's hit the a few one, since we're sourcing products from China, there were some delays about two months ago as far as getting samples, uh, maybe getting quotes back from suppliers, also getting those products done because they were focused on more important things. They were dealing with their own local pandemic over there and that was their priority. I know that I personally am friends with the people that work in the plants that I work with and they were staying at home being safe and that's all that I wanted them to do. I did not want them to worry about getting back to the plants and making products. For me, that wasn't the priority. So there was definitely, I'd say, a 30 to 45 today delay uh, where you just wanted everyone to get safe over there. That was one of the downsides, but I think we're pretty much through that. Everyone that I've seen now, all the suppliers that I've talked to, they are back up and running and they're eager to make up for lost time. So they are producing products as quickly as possible. So it's really, it was a negative in the past, nothing right now. Uh, secondly, there might just be this stigma on buying products from China. As a matter of fact, uh, there's a question coming up here that says, like, are people still trusting products from China? 
personally, I am. My sales are doing better right now than they have before because China still makes the vast majority of the products in the world that we need. Regardless of our your personal feelings on that, that's the way that our world has evolved right now. And they have the best way of manufacturing in quantity and quickly and more affordably products than anyone else. At some point in the future, maybe that'll change. But that's a long, long, long way out. I don't anticipate that in my lifetime actually that ever happen. So right now, people realize that they are the best place to get products manufactured. So I don't think that people will stop buying salt shakers because they know it may be made in China or cutting boards or cutting mats. Uh, people are still gonna need these things in their home. And from what we've seen, I haven't heard anyone being worried about any type of risk of contamination to the products. I mean, heck, they take you know, what 20 to 30 days to ship overseas and nothing uh, shows that that they can you know be contaminated or we're going over there. So we haven't seen any negative side effects more than just some people being worried about the stigma of buying products over there. Uh, the other thing is, let's face it, there's a big hit to the economy right now. That's probably the biggest downside of COVID, not necessarily in our you know, category or niche here that we're all learning to start businesses in, but a lot of people are struggling financially. And so there are people that won't be able to spend money online. Fortunately, for those of us who have built a business where we can work from home, we can work from anywhere, we still create products that people want and need. We haven't seen that slowdown, but unfortunately, there will be people out there, a lot of them, probably some on this you know, this web webinar right now, uh, that just don't have the disposable income. Uh, but again, that we're hoping will definitely change. I hope for many people that on this webinar that maybe you're in that situation, absolutely hope that changes for you. I hope that we're a part of that solution. And if right now we can't be a part of it, I hope that you've gained enough out of this to start something on your own and that later on down the road, you can become a member of Amazing Selling Machine. Uh, but definitely the fastest path for success, in my opinion and from my experience, because I am a member, I started just like so many on this webinar, this is the fastest way to success and also the way to avoid all the pitfalls and mistakes that people make when starting businesses. Uh, but hopefully that answers the questions on any negatives you might see. Just for this business, there are not a lot of negatives yet on, on it because of COVID. Uh, let's see. So next question is uh, from Vadrin. Why are you doing this webinar for free? What's in it for us? Uh, well, one, of course, we love to give free training. We absolutely positively want to give the absolute best training out there. I think from all the comments that we've seen, Dan did not hold back. Dan loves giving you amazing tips, uh, advice, and strategies and tactics. He's excellent at it. I love doing it. Matt, Jason, so many people love doing it. We love giving value. And it's our hope that if you see how much value we give on one of these webinars, then it's going to make you want to work with us more. We want you to work with us more, become a part of our community, work with our mentors, work with the other people who went before you and have built their own businesses. Our goal is to change your life, give you the free training that you could use to start right now if you want to take a kind of a slow path towards building a business. But our goal, of course, absolutely, we want you to become a member of our, our, of our own community so that we can help you get faster and more confident in your success. That's our overall goal here. Uh, from Scott, he says, obviously there are a lot of other programs out there taught in the exact same thing as you. Why should we choose you and not them? Uh, this answer can be as simple as this results. One thing that you will have a hard time finding anyone else out there share with you are actual members who've taken the training and gotten the results that you've seen. You have only seen the tip of the iceberg as far as the people that gotten results. We showed you Devin and his wife, Katie. We showed you Channing. We showed you uh, Leah and David Cup. We showed you, um, so, I can't even, list, so many other people on there, but there are thousands of people that went for our program. We have the best community and the, the best set of results you'll ever see. And at the end of the day, everything that we do inside of Amazing and Amazing Selling Machine, it's all about getting our members results. Because if we don't get you results, then we have we don't have a business. You're not gonna share with other people uh, how well you liked the course because you had a bad experience with it. You're not going to later on down the road wanna join us at a live event or join us at a mastermind. Our goal right now is to get you into our flagship training, Amazing Selling Machine, get you successful so then you have the confidence in yourself and the trust in us so that we can have a long future together, expanding your business even beyond Amazon eventually. Uh, we're finally getting into that, but we know Amazon's the place to start. When you're ready after a year or two and you're up and sung on Amazon, you realize how real this is, then we're, our hope is to help show you how to expand beyond that and take your business to the next level. Um, but again, it's results that sets us aside from everyone else. If you talk to our members, ask them, 
they'll be completely open and honest what they do and what they don't like about it. And I'm confident that you will find a lot of people telling you that they're getting results. At the end of the day, that's what's important. Uh, Patrice is asking, on average, how long does it take for a first time product to start selling? Um, you know, so I think the roadmap that Dan gave you is very realistic. I mean, he walked through seven months and 11 days of actually being able to quit your job, which means if you're gonna do that, you have to get sales sooner. So our goal is to, in a week or two, pick a product, in another week or two, pick your supplier, then place your order, that's gonna take about a month to manufacture, then have it shipped, that's gonna take about another month as well. So at that point, you're about 90 days into having your product live. And then when it goes live, we wanna see you make a sale from day one. Like that's the best way to start getting sales. Hit the ground running, get your product launched on Amazon, use all of the marketing tr marketing training and tactics we have inside of Amazing Selling Machine. Uh, Dan shared with you some real core functions you can do inside of Amazing Selling Machine. We have the absolute best way to launch your products for immediate sales and immediate rankings. If you do that on day one, you will be making sales and then eventually those sales will start growing and growing and growing and they'll be self-fulfilling where the more sales you make, the more Amazon promotes you. The more Amazon promotes you, the more sales you make. Uh, it's kind of like a flywheel of sales, and that's while uh, that's how we anticipate everyone should be doing once you find and launch the right product. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Abraham, Abraham's left, but did have this question. I'll still ask it out here. He said that I've tried to apply for something for enhanced content, but they're saying that I need brand registry and I need a trademark. Where would I be able to acquire this? So what Abraham's asking is. Uh, there's a, a feature inside of, of Amazon where when you're selling, you get something called enhanced brand content. What that means is on your product page, you get to put more than just some basic photos and words. You get to upload videos, upload lifestyle photos, all different kinds of layouts where you really build a brand story around your product. Uh, and you do that by using enhanced brand content. In order to get access to that, you need to apply for something called brand registry. And don't worry about these details. We show you all of it, an amazing selling machine. But in order to get brand registry, you need to get a trademark. Now, if all that seems a little overwhelming, don't be overwhelmed. You don't need that right now. You do not need to go out there and get any of that um, until you've been up and selling for a while. There, uh, the most important thing, find your product. Next most important thing, find your supplier. Third most important thing is order your product. Once you get everything up and selling, then there are lots of other things, lots of other tools and marketing strategies that Amazon makes available to you, but you don't need to worry about any of those right now. When you're ready, we walk you through exactly how to do that inside of Amazing Selling Machine. Uh, let's see, Alika is asking, uh, you mentioned Alibaba. Why are customers not able to buy directly from Alibaba? That's an excellent question. It's actually what I thought when I started out selling as well. Well, Alibaba's entire business model revolves around connecting manufacturers with sellers like us. They do not do direct to consumer sales. Uh, that's not their business model. They wanna sell in bulk. So if a lot of people were to go on to Alibaba and say, I want one of these and two of these, they simply couldn't handle it and they wouldn't want to because that's not profitable for them. You would eat up all your costs and shipping fees and basically they'd make a much less number of sales for a lot bigger headache. So they have their business model. It is manufacturers selling to suppliers like us, and that's the way that it is, and I don't ever see it changing in the foreseeable future. Um, so there's, I never worry about people going straight to Alibaba. Uh, also, in addition, the suppliers on there, they want to be connected with people who are gonna buy in bulk like us. Their specialty is not marketing. Their specialty is not building a great listing. Their specialty is not even taking great pictures of their own products. Their specialty, is manufacturing as efficiently, as cost-effective as possible, and giving you the absolute best quality products as possible. That's what they focus on. They let us handle all the marketing stuff, and it's a very symbiotic relationship, and it's great because it works out really well for all of us. Um, let's see, next question. And Dan, just come on back whenever you're ready. I got another one I'll take right here. Yeah, though. hey guys, I'm here, Mike, cool. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, you know what, I'll feed this one to you. This is from Aisha, and she's asking, do you have to pay for keywords when you're advertising on Amazon? Yes, yeah, so the way it works is called PPC, which stands for pay per click. So depending on what keyword it is, you bid on that keyword and Amazon will tell you exactly how much you need to bid. It could be anywhere from a few cents to maybe a dollar or two, and then you pay Amazon for every time someone clicks on that link on that advert. So we set up our listings to make sure that we convert as many of those clicks into sales as we can. 
and then we look at that as a cost of advertising. So as I went through in the sales forecast, we assume around 30% of revenue that goes towards the advertising when launching a product, and then we, we target 10% of revenue to go towards advertising when we're just sustaining and growing those sales. So yes, we pay Amazon every time someone clicks on that advert. Excellent, great. Uh, okay, so uh, Dan, do you want me to feed you questions or you want to read them off yeah, as well? I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll pick some out. I've got some, I, I see some, uh, some flags here. So we've got, um, oh, just a nice comment there. Amazing program, thank you. I was just about to hire a career coach, but I'm going to invest in Amazon instead from Rebecca Wallace. Welcome to the program, Rebecca, smart decision. Uh, okay, next one. Um, okay, the next one, Chris, uh, Crystal paid and signed up. Welcome, Crystal. Welcome to the program. Okay. Um, so from Mia, will there be an additional fee to access ASM 12? So Mia, absolutely not. That's exactly what we're saying here today. When you join Amazing Selling Machine here today, you're going to get $500 off the regular price and we're going to give you free and priority access to ASM 12 when it releases next month, as well as all of the bonuses that come with ASM 12. So you're saving $500 right now. You can start right now, get ahead of everyone else, and then as soon as ASM 12 releases next month, you're gonna get priority access to the program a good month ahead of all the other existing sellers within the program. So you know you get completely free access and then free updates for life within Amazing Selling Machine. Next all right, one. Adam, for a second, uh, they are doing rogue, are doing, are building a high rise basically next to my office. So if you hear any tractors or trucks, that is what it is. Sorry about that. Uh, there they go again. Excellent. There. Uh, there's not a steamboat driving down next to me. But Jordan's asked the question: Wouldn't Alibaba require you to place large amounts of minimum orders? Jordan, great, great question. Uh, in general, the whole world has always thought that in order to get going and manufacture your products, you had to place very large orders of, of products, whether a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. That used to be the way it was, because only the huge brands out there were ordering, and they just, by nature of saving money, would do that. Well, Alibaba has now met the world of sellers like us. And Amazon now has more sellers like us selling and selling over 50% of all their products. So the world is changing. They realize people starting out like us can't always afford to buy a thousand units. That's why when you go to Alibaba, you will see that suppliers out there willing to sell for you know 500 units, 300, 200, 100, maybe less than that, because they want to get your business. Now, what you will be prepared to do is you'll have to pay more per unit when you make a small inventory purchase. That's just the way it is. If you order only 10 units, you'll pay more than if you order 500 units. That's because they have to do a lot of work to create a very few or small quantity of products. Totally fine. I think that when you're starting out, if that's the only thing you can do, if you can only afford, let's say 100 units, and you gotta pay 50 cents or a dollar more, go for it. You'll make up that extra cost when you're selling your product. And then once you start growing your sales, then you'll be able to save by ordering 200, 500, 1,000 and getting discounts on further orders out there. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely you no longer have to go out there and order a large quantity of products. You can order um, as little as you want as long as you work out that deal with the supplier and it's both you know, kind of a good deal for both of you. Cool, um, we've got another question here. Um, do we, okay, so Mike, back to back to the sales forecast and the cash flow forecast that we put together. Um, do we have to spend $10,000 for the first three months to get a return? Absolutely not. So you could invest as little as say 300, 400 units in inventory costs. Let's say you find a product that's a $2 product cost or maybe a $3 product cost. So you could get started with very low amounts of investment and then get that to Amazon and be selling within 90 days of doing that and starting to generate that positive return. So you absolutely don't need to be uh, investing $10,000 up front before you get a return. You can get started in this business with as little as $1,200, $1,500 in inventory um, and be starting to produce a positive return on that investment. And that's the beautiful thing about this business. Think of any other business model that allows you to set up a business, be into multiple thousands of dollars in revenue and profit within a matter of months and invest as little as a couple thousand dollars at the start to do so. There is no other business model out there like Amazon, uh, and that's why it's so accessible to everyone who's been successful with it. 
Yeah, and before I get to the next question, I want to welcome, you already mentioned Crystal, there's Gary, Laurie, Layla, Juan, a lot of others out there too, Fidela. Uh, again, I can't scroll down my screen, but uh, all, everyone who's already signed up, welcome to Amazing Selling Machine. It's awesome to have you here. Uh, we can't wait to get you inside the training to actually see you launch your first product. So you've made, a, you made an awesome choice. I'm so excited for so many of you out there. Uh, so let's see the next question from Jordan as well. Um, how can you trust that the sample quality that they provide you from Alibaba is the actual product that they're going to send you? Uh, this is a great, you know, another, another good question. Another, you know, a lot of people um, have concerns like this. Luckily, I've never had that issue, but I do know a few, a handful of people who've experienced that, but there are ways around that. So first off, uh, what Jordan is asking is that if you get a sample of a product in and it looks great, and then you order 500 of them, how do you know they're not gonna lower the quality for that large order? Well, in general, they won't do that because they're gonna lose your business. Like the suppliers out there, their entire goal is to make you happy so that you order more products so that they make more money. If they give you subpar, subquality products, then you're not gonna continue ordering from them. That's the first part. Now, does it still happen? Well, yeah, it still can happen. However, then what I always do is that once they are, as I have my products inspected now, I make sure that a sample of the products that are done when I order 500 now or a thousand units get uh, get inspected. I let my manufacturer know that we're inspecting them. And then that way they know that they're not gonna pull anything because they know that there's a chance we'll find it and that we'll want to have an entire you know batch of inventory recreated. That's the easiest way to have it done. Another way, have your supplier send you one of the products once your full batch is done or um, have your freight forwarder that if you just made an order for 300 units and your freight forwarder picks it up and they're getting ready to load it onto a boat, have them express mail you one of them just so you can see that in a few days. That way you'll be able to test it out yourself. But there's lots of safeguards you can put into place uh, if you're worried about that. In general, try not to worry about all the things that are gonna trip you up in this business. Focus on the things that are gonna really get you going and be successful. And fear is definitely one of them that I try not to play a part in. Um, I just wanna make sure I have myself covered and I push forward with getting sales, getting products, explain, expanding my brand, and just continue to grow and grow my business. And at, after a point in time, I think you'll find once you're in this business, you no longer have those fears. The chances of something like that happening are so very small. I'm not going to say they never, ever, ever, ever happen. But if you follow the training with the safeguards we have in place, you should be good to go. Cool. Now, next question then. Um... Can a single person deal with this? Absolutely. If you're, if I'm reading that right, you've definitely got more time on your hands um, and a lot, plenty of time to invest in building the business. And I saw another question around how much time will this take? Guys, you can literally get going with one hour a day setting up this business as Mike did around his corporate job. One hour a day, you can get this business going. Uh, the more time you invest, obviously, the, the faster you're going to build it. But just one hour a day and you can be very, very successful. Where do I get the packaging for my products? I have to make my own package for the products. So yeah, typically what happens is you will work with your factory, your supplier out in China, and they will give you the specification of the packaging that you're able to purchase, whether that be a poly bag or a cardboard box, or the, uh, the different types of packaging available. And they will then give you the design requirements. You will then go to a website like fiverr.com or 99designs.com or upwork.com, hire a designer and say, hey, this is my brand. I need a logo and I need packaging designing with this on it. They will send you the design file and then you send that back to the factory in China and they will handle the printing of that packaging for you and then put the product in the packaging ready to ship to China. That's as simple as it is. The factory handles it all and you just need to get a designer to handle the actual design of that packaging. All right, here's a question uh, from Rabul. Is it possible to do this from outside of the US? Hey, Dan, where do you live? I live in the UK, Mike. I live in the is UK, it so absolutely. Is it outside of the US? Yes, yes, it is, absolutely. And you know what? Some of the European markets are brilliant. Germany, the UK, um, they're not as much sales volume, but still more than enough to give the, you the dream life and help you quit your job, and often less competitive as well. Um, we have members all over the world. As we said in our intro, I think it's 138 countries, Mike, something like that. And um, we have members literally all over the world being successful with Amazing Selling Machine. Exactly. Uh, I'll take. I got one more quick one. I'll take here since I kind of tossed the one over to you intentionally. Uh, this is from Michelle. 
if you're on the top listing on Amazon, so you're ranking at the top, and you're spending less than the recommended advertising budget that Amazon suggests, is there any point in increasing your budget? So Michelle's talking about selling on Amazon, already being showing up at the top of the listings, and she's spending money on advertising, and Amazon's trying to say, hey, you can actually spend more. Um, so without knowing all the other details, like your click-through rate, and your A cost, and everything like that, the general answer I would give you is, yeah, there is a reason. You can spend more money, because here's the way I look at this. I'm not saying anyone starting off has to do this. This is really a good question for scaling, but later on, even if you can, you, even if you are the number one ranked product on Amazon, I still want to bid on that keyword because I wanna keep that ranking for that keyword on Amazon. And the way it works is that as you make sales through PPC, like Dan showed you, for whatever the keyword is, Amazon is going to also move you up in the natural organic rankings for that keyword. So let's say that I hit position one, two, or three, um, do I just stop advertising on Amazon? No, I wanna keep that ranking on there. I wanna make sure that I'm continuing to drive sales through that keyword. And if you ever stop advertising for that keyword, not saying you can never do, but you could um, absolutely, you, someone else might start advertising on it as well. So I like rank for that keyword. That's a kind of a more advanced one, but a good question, Michelle, for us there. Dan, I'll let you take the next one. Awesome. Um, next question. Okay, so from Charles, it said, looks like a lot of money going out up front initially. Exactly how much money do you need to start this business? So Charles, as I start set forth in the cash flow forecast, when we just had a look at the numbers, you can get started with inventory as low as sort of $1,200. Um, let's say you're ordering maybe four or 500 units of a product and that at a maybe sort of a $1.50, $2 price point, you can get that first inventory order in with just a couple of thousand dollars, maybe $1,200 to a couple of thousand dollars and get selling on Amazon and then start generating that positive return. And remember, you don't need all of that investment up front because we're gonna pay a deposit, we're gonna wait for that um, product to be manufactured and then we're gonna pay the balance thereafter. So that is also spread over a couple of months as well. So you can literally get started in this business, join Amazing Selling Machine, take that payment plan of 997 per month for six months and then within 60 days or so, pay that deposit to the factory and you've only spent two or three thousand dollars and you're well on your way to generating profit and replacing that income. So very, very low amount of investment considering the return and what it would cost to start any other type of business. So to answer your question specifically, I would say with the investment of Amazing Selling Machine and investment into inventory, you could start in the next uh, 60 to 90 days with around two to $3,000. Excellent. Uh, got a question from Keeley about increasing sales figures. So how did you calculate the continually increasing sales figures each month? Was that just based on competition sales? And uh, I'll I'll take this. Dan and I uh, went over the spreadsheet a couple of times this week, and it's a very realistic. Those numbers may seem crazy. It may seem unbelievable that you're going to sell that many products and that you'll be able to generate that much cash flow. But when we went over it, it the, the numbers match up. And the reason why your sales, let's say, for example, in, the, in month three, will go up from the previous month, it's because the entire goal is to limit your risk early on. We don't want you to go crazy and order 5,000 units. We want you to start small and order 500, 300, maybe 1,000 units. And you're gonna set your budget the same way so you start selling off, selling maybe five or 10 units a day. Then as you gain organic rank on Amazon, you'll start making more sales. So even though you're you know, launching a lot of sales through pay-per-click, you may be uh, giving back some money and some, some, some cash back offers as well, you'll start making even more sales little by little. So your sales will go up every single month. And if you wanna know like what the potential is, yes, we do look at the competitors. We know what kind of potential is out there for that particular market. And that's why there's such a great upward trend on those sales. You start off small, that way you're limiting the risk in your investment. And then as you start getting more of your profits back, you invest more inventory, well then you can afford to make more sales the next month. Next month, And then once you start, start maxing out that product, that's when you move on to the next product and then launch the second product in your brand, then three, five, and so forth. Um, but yeah, we look at the competition and also look at the keywords. Uh, inside of ASM, it's pretty incredible the analysis that you'll find for really finding the right products and also estimating what it's gonna take to get them selling and launched. And 
Next one, can we handle an Amazon business and keep our job? Will it be easy? Absolutely, When again, you can do this business in just one hour per day. We've broken down the web class into step-by-step -step training to a point that you literally can consume that video and then take immediate action and complete that video. Each video varies anywhere from sort of five minutes to maybe 20 minutes long. So in an hour, you can complete a video and complete the actions. And all it takes is daily consistent action daily consistent execution and within a matter of weeks you're already well on your way to executing and building this business so you can absolutely do this work get up an hour earlier before going to work come home and instead of watching Netflix for an hour jump on complete your action for the day and as long as you do that every day day in day out you will be successful the only way you fail at this process is not starting that's the only way of the process. Persistence is key to success when it comes to executing this. And yet yeah, one hour a day and you're well on your way. As Mike did and you learned, Mike, uh, running your job and being in that nine to five you were in for 20 years. Yeah. And I was able to do this in the evenings. It was just an hour or two a day. I'd come home. I would have dinner with the family. Then I work for an hour or two. Then I come upstairs and hang out with the kids for a little bit. Then they'd go to bed around 9 p.m. my time. I'd work for another hour in the evening going through the training and launching my products. And I was able to do it. I never felt completely exhausted. Uh, you know the feeling, Dan, when you do this business, it's euphoric. You actually have a lot more energy because what you're building is something your own. You're not working for someone else to build someone else's business. You're building something yourself. And if anything, I don't think the problem is not having enough energy to make this happen. It's keeping yourself from trying to work with us too many hours because that's so addictive. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the the energy that you get from building and envisioning a brand and then coming it's seeing it coming to life and then it more importantly seeing those dollars come back from amazon it's just inspiring and yeah you will find energy that you didn't believe you had because you're inspired you're motivated and it's yours um and for many people yes the money's great and yes the freedom is great but for many people they thank Amazing Selling Machine for giving them a new lease of life because it's given them something to focus towards and really build and own. Um, so there's such such validity in that point, Mike. Here's a great question for Jordan. I promise you we didn't ask him to ask this question. Probably didn't even realize it, but it's, it's a perfect question. He asked, is there a way to minimize the risk of being stuck with so much inventory that might not end up selling? Yes, there is, and you only get that when you join ASM, and that's the 2020 success agreement that Dan went through. If you join ASM and you follow our steps for finding your product and launching it and follow our marketing steps, if by the end of the year you did those things and still have your inventory left over, we will buy back any unused inventory and we're going to refund you what you spent on ASM. There's absolutely no other program out there. You talk about like, why are we the best? Why do we have confidence? There's no other program out there that has that much confidence in their training to make that type of offer. That's how confident we are that we will be able to get you results. Now, do, does everyone get results? Absolutely not. Like there's there, there's some amount of risk in any business and there are some people that join something like this and then they don't take action. If anything, the biggest risk that I've ever seen is people freezing and not doing anything. That's why we put in these incentives. We wanna do everything we can to incentivize you to take action because we know the power of taking action and we know the success that you can get when you do this. And so when we launch the success agreement, um, we've, it's been around for a few years now and we do not offer it all the time. Like if you just come through and buy amazing selling machine, um, you know, any other day when it's available, you won't find the success agreement because we have to limit our own risk on this one. Because if too many people take us up on it, imagine that that's a huge amount of risk on our end. Only during webinars like this and special events, we make this available. That way we can control it, but we give it to the people in these webinars and limit how many people can get it because we want to make sure that you get something special. You have a reason to join right now and change your life and that we're that confident that the vast majority of people who take us up on the success agreement and actually take action, they're going to want to keep the business going. Once you realize what it's like and start seeing sales, the last thing you're going to want to do is give up your business. Um, and have we had to fulfill it? Again, absolutely. We've had people who've went out there, filed every step, and at the end of the agreement, they're like, you know what? This just isn't the business for me. And many of them even made you know, a decent amount of sales. They just realized, hey, you know what? This isn't for me. I like being an employee. I like being a contractor. I like having a regular nine to five job. Some people, and that's totally fine. There's absolutely, I, I don't mean that you know, sound like degrading my tone of voice. There's nothing wrong with that. There's some simplicity and enjoying that type of life. And some people wanted that more safe, secure, standard structure. And they took us up on this agreement and we were happy to pay them out, buy their inventory back, and then wish them very best on there. But the vast majority have not. And hopefully that tells you something.
So next one, uh, when you said you can start selling without a brand generic, how do you list it in Amazon? Mike, do you want to take that one? Yeah, so when we talk about starting more generic product, um, you still have to build a brand. The entire, like one of the most valuable and most important parts of this business model that I had no concept of when I started out until I tilted up my eyes was that you are creating a brand. Even if I'm going out there and creating a product that's very similar to someone else's, I'm putting my brand on it, whether it's just black and white printed on a box or a little tag around it, or it's just you know a, a label printed on a bag, that's my brand of products. Now, what you wanna do is have your own custom packaging, you'd like to have your own logo on the product, those are all even better, but if you can't afford that, what Dan was talking about, you can go very, very basic. You can absolutely sell whatever product you want, let's call it a wine glass. You can sell it in a plain white box and just have a sticker put on there that has your brand name and product name on there. That is kind of a generic product, you're not really paying much money for advertising or for, for packaging. Uh, you're definitely going the more generic route, but it's still your brand. And when you sell that on Amazon, you list it as your brand and your product that no one else is selling. Um, the, the point was, you don't have to go crazy and create the fanciest, most expensive packaging out there. Uh, I still, to this date, don't do that. I have pretty basic packaging. I love it, um, but it's more complex than when I started out, because when I started out, I wanted it to be simple. I wanted to verify this is the right business for me. I needed to make sure that this was was not a scam when I joined. I'm sure a lot of people seeing an opportunity like this thinking, this can't be true, this can't work. I was one of them. I was incredibly skeptical. I didn't even tell my wife I joined. I'm not <laughs> trying to promote anyone to not do that. But my wife did not know that I joined until well afterwards I was on my way and then I kind of shared it with her. Uh, but I didn't want to tell her because I was thinking this can't be real. I'm probably going to get a refund here in 30 days because it's going to be a sham. Uh, but it wasn't, you know, but still I took some, you know, some steps early on to limit my risk. I didn't go all in for my packaging. I wanted to make sure that the products I chose were selling and that after they were selling well, then I upgraded my packaging a little bit, started putting a little more design into it, hired someone to put together the actual design instead of me or my brother doing it, going out there and getting a trademark, going out there and getting a professional logo made. All those things I did way down the road once I verified that this was the right business for me and that everything that I'd heard about it was true. So uh, you can do the exact same thing. You'll learn all about that in ASM. We give you all the options for finding the right type of branding and packaging for your product. It's not nearly as hard as you might think it is. Great. Next question. For how long should you take to launch your second product? So as I walk through in the sales forecast, if we we're going to hit a income of, I think it was $11,000 by January 2021, we'd want to have our second product launched around November. So we'd be launching our first product in August and we want to have our second product launched around November and making sales through that Black Friday period, that December Christmas shopping period, um, and then by January we'd have two products selling, sustaining those sales, doing very well um, when we come to replace our income by January 2021. So realistically, we, we'd want to launch that second product within about th uh, three months of launching our first one. Yeah, when we were going through the timeline for this and thinking of like now, going through all of what we're going to be training people and going through the roadmap that Dan put together right now is the perfect sweet spot of joining because uh we don't need to talk about this amazon has delayed prime day and mm -hmm. for those of you who probably know what prime day is it typically takes place in early july one time i think in late june whatever and normally if you signed up right now to build your business you probably would miss the prime day sales uh and it's not a deal breaker it doesn't in any mean, mean any ways mean you can't be successful it's just it's a nice thing to be a part of well amazon just pushed it back i believe till september now so if you were to Join right now, find your product over the next two weeks, find your supplier the next two weeks, get it made, get your product launched by August. You're going to be able to take advantage of Prime Day sales, which in many cases are bigger than the holiday sales. And that's going to take place in September. Then place your second order, get that product in for the holiday sales. Then you have holiday sales to kick everything off as well, which is going to be an insane time for sellers. We took all that into account with coming up with this very realistic timeline in order to show you what is truly accomplishable by January of next year. There are so many factors in play right now that make this a perfect time. That's why we want to do this webinar. And that's why we want to walk you through the roadmap because we believe in the, the training and we believe in everything that we teach you, you can do. Um, Rebecca has a question. What does the 4,500 to join ASM not include? Another good question. Uh, the biggest thing it doesn't include, it's your inventory. You know, the, you, the most, the biggest, 
investment you'll ever make in your business is going to be your inventory but it's not an expense an expense is something that you throw money at and you never get back again um advertising you get something back but it's still an expense you know maybe um I don't know, there's lots of other things, maybe getting a subscription service to an email provider for 10 bucks or whatever, those are expenses. Your inventory is an asset because you're putting money into it, but then you're getting more money out of it. But from a cash flow perspective, that will be the biggest expense that you'll have to lay out uh, when you're trying to start this business. Uh, like Dan said, around $1,200 is a good number to shoot for. You can, of course, spend more if you want to. You can also spend a little, little less if you want to as well. That's kind of a ballpark figure about what you can get going with. Now, other than that, um, there's the packaging. You could have your manufacturer do it for you. I've had ours do one of ours. Um, they're not terrible. If you want to start basic and kind of on a shoestring budget, you can have them do it or have a friend do it. Uh, also, you can go to, like what Dan recommended, uh, 99designs. It will be the best 300, 400 bucks you've ever spent on packaging. It is professional quality. Uh, those are people, like Dan said, that work at real high profile agencies. They're just doing the stuff on the side. And it's a win win for us because you will get professionally designed packaging made for companies like Coca Cola and Pepsi and uh, Disney and all these other companies out there. Um, that's the other expense I would suggest. So the inventory, maybe your packaging you want to spend on it. And then the other part would be also your advertising. But the really cool thing about advertising when you start off on Amazon is that they front the money for you. So as you make sales on Amazon, Amazon kind of holds that money and pays you every two weeks. Well, whatever you spend on advertising, they just deduct it out of that payment and then pay you the difference. And why that's a good thing is you're not paying cash out of pocket for the advertising. Other advertising programs, whether it's Facebook or Google or YouTube, you have to spend that money up front. This way, Amazon is, is pretty much bankrolling your advertising because it's in their best interest to do that. And that way it really helps with cash flow. So I don't think of that as any cash out of pocket, uh, but in, you know, from a balance sheet or from a PL, it truly is an expense, but it's not that big because it's, you know, you just spend it for a little bit of time and then it should go down as your product starts taking off and selling by itself. Another great question here. Can you sell one product worldwide and do you need to ship it to different locations? Let's say the US, Europe, Australia, and so absolutely yes, you can. So we will we will sell products over in the United States, in the United Kingdom, um, Spain, Italy, Germany. Um, but typically when starting out, you're going to focus on one marketplace. The United States is the biggest marketplace and often the place where most start. But if you're located here in the UK, there's plenty of opportunity to be starting on Amazon.co.uk or if you're in Germany, maybe, or even in places like Canada. But typically people will start in the United States, build up the sales on that one marketplace. And then once you've got two, three, four products building up those sales, you can then expand out into other marketplaces and ship the exact same product to those marketplaces. Um, some people will start with one product and then instead of releasing a second product, will take that product over to a second marketplace as well. Um, but absolutely, yes, you can ship the same products to multiple destinations. Uh, Carlene's asking, when do I get the info to start up? I just signed up. First off, congratulations, Carlene. You should get an email almost immediately, if not within like five to 10 minutes. Maybe check, check your spam folder. It'll say, welcome to Amazing Selling Machine. It's going to have all your login details and you'll get immediate access to the welcome module. Um, if you don't get that in the next 10, 50 minutes, just shoot us an email at support at and we'll make sure we get you sorted out. But um, Awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure you'll be excited to start going through the welcome module and then module one starting the very next day on that. Uh, so what I want to do is we are now almost two and a half hours into the training with the Q&A. I know we're going over, but we got a lot of great questions. We're trying to answer as many as possible, but we will have to get going. Where Dan's at, it's pretty late. I'm going to start dealing with family and wife issues pretty soon if I don't get off the webinar. So, But uh, I don't want to leave anyone hanging with any important questions. So what we'd like to do is if you have anything that's holding you back right now, if there's some kind of deal breaker that, yes, I'm so close to signing up, but I need this question answered before I'm going, I'm willing to do that, why don't you post that right now? Uh, put deal breaker all in caps and then tell us your question. And then Dan and I will try to answer that uh, before we get going here. So I'm gonna take a minute, see if any are coming through here. Uh, let's see, looks like uh, Temi has a question. Uh, are there any restrictions with being in the UK and selling on Amazon? I, Dan, I'm gonna give that right to you. 
No, absolutely not. I mean, tell me if you're in the UK, then there's plenty of opportunity here in the UK. I have a story, actually. I helped um, the my friend Levi's a decorator. Um, he was decorating my house at the end of last year. Um, he saw about what I was doing. He uh, took the ASM program. And he's now making 20, 30,000 pounds on the side of his full-time decorating business as a result of launching a product here in the UK. So there's absolutely no restrictions if you want to start in the UK. And even if you want to start over in the United States, it's actually easier to get started in the United States because um, they're not checking certain things. But you know, there's absolutely no restrictions at all. You can sell here in the UK or over in the US. It really is that simple. Uh, all right. And also, Todorka asked if you live in Europe, uh, Norway specifically, can you target the U.S. market? Absolutely. Um, doesn't really matter where you live. You can sell in any of the markets and target those buyers there, Tadorka. That, that's not a problem. Uh, let's see. So a couple of deal breakers here. Uh, oh, <laughs> deal breaker. When will we get the speed to market bonus with a link? Uh, great question. You know what? Let's go ahead and Rich, if you don't mind posting the link. Uh, to everyone here. It's basically going to be asmnow.com slash freedom-starter-kit. Uh, that is the bonus for uh, anyone signing up here. If you, Rich is going to be posting that in the, in the chat right there. If you go to that link, you will get the free download bonus. Now, your question right there might be more like the, the speed to market bonuses. So those, those particular bonuses will all come with ASM 12 when it's launched. Uh, you'll get the $500 off right now. You get access to the 2020 success agreement right now. You'll get access to the 30-day guarantee right now. Uh, all that's in there. And then all the bonuses that come once we completely re-record ASM 12 and launch that, you'll get access to those bonuses at the exact same time as anyone else uh, who is joining ASM 12 gets. Normally, existing members have to wait at least a month or two afterwards because we have to focus just on all the flood of new members coming in. Uh, but for the people in this webinar, you'll get access to the training and bonuses at the exact same time. Uh, here's a deal breaker from Ray. Is this a scam? Uh, sorry, Ray, we're not a scam. <laughs> if uh, we do get that question, uh, if you can check us out, like check us out on Facebook, look at our reviews, uh, look at our results we get for our members. Um, if anyone, you know, ever, ever thinks that, you know, we don't hold up to our end of the bargain, like for the 30 day guarantee, there's never, ever been a time that we have not refunded anyone who's got in and realized, you know what, it's not for me. There's also never been a time where someone's met all the criteria for the success agreement and we haven't refunded ASM and also bought back their unsold inventory. Like we take this business very seriously. We take your trust very seriously. We know that this um, might be kind of an overwhelming webinar. You've been here for two and a half hours. You see this incredible opportunity in front of you. It seems like there's a lot of pressure to join right now. There's not, there, there's no pressure. No one's holding a, you know, you know, a fire to your credit card or whatever that. Uh, if this is not the right time for you, then it's not the right time for you. We just want to make sure that those who it is the right time for, we give as much value and as many bonuses as possible so that you can get in selling as quickly as possible and then see the life-changing benefits that so many other members, including me, including Dan, including so many other people have been able to see. That's what we want to see. But the answer to this question, no, it's not a scam, Ray. Next uh -oh. one, final one we've got. We've seen a few deal breakers come through now, Mike, actually. Um, Okay, so shipping tariffs, quality inspection, duties, Amazon storage costs, all of that eating margins. So shipping and tariffs, um, we we'll look, we will calculate that inside of our profit margin. Quality inspection, um, quality inspection, depending on where you source from, um, is very, very cheap. It's like a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars, something like that. Many services now even include quality inspections. The duties and all of that will be calculated at the point of freight and importing. Amazon storage costs, yes, there are uh, small storage costs, but we turn our inventory quite lean. We sell through our inventory, so they're, they're very minimal and don't impact on margins. Then with that 30% um, before advertising, assuming 10% for advertising, that is how much we, uh, profit we put in our pocket. Typically, typically brands on Amazon, we 20% is kind of average, a bottom net net, Bottom line is about 20%. Good is about 30%. So when earning 100,000 a month in revenue, you can expect to be earning anywhere from 20 to $30,000 in profit after all costs, after all costs. And that's sort of average across all categories, all marketplaces, all brands for the eight years that we've been doing this. Um, okay, I only see a few more here. Uh, one is from 
Juan asking, this is my favorite one, uh, how do taxes work with Amazon income? So yes, taxes, when it comes to income taxes, work like any other business, Juan. It is no different than starting a restaurant, starting your own consulting business, agency, whatever. If you make income, you have to pay income taxes on it. Uh, if you're you know, living in the US and selling the US, it's treated like any other business income, um, as it should be. Also, uh, you don't, we don't, you know, sales taxes might be another question out there. It's not listed here, but I know some people always ask about it. Uh, the beautiful thing about sales tax on Amazon, and it's kind of weird for me to say beautiful thing and sales tax in the same sentence, is that Amazon is more and more taking over responsibility for taking care of all the sales tax on Amazon. This used to be a huge hot button and topic for sellers on there, uh, but I believe right now, Amazon's already kind of committed and worked out deals with 35 or more of the 50 states here where they are now handling all the sales taxes uh, and we only expect that trend to continue. Uh, now, if you do sell on Amazon, you live in a state that collects sales tax, you'll wanna talk to a local sales tax accountant or a, a, what is it, a sales and local tax specialist, a SALT specialist. They'll guide you on what you should or shouldn't be charging for on there. Uh, the good thing is sales tax is getting better and easier than it ever has been on Amazon. And you don't technically have to pay for it if you're collecting for it. It's not something off your top line because when you're charging sales tax, that's on addition to the sale, Amazon collects it and then they remit it. So it's not like it's cutting into your sale if it's set up correctly. Let's see, uh, Dan, there's, there's one here. I think this might be um, a question on shipping. I, is it true that shipping is now taking two months or more? I know my shipments aren't seeing that. Are you seeing that a lot more? No, we're not. We, I mean, we've definitely seen like maybe a week or two weeks delay here and there, but it depends on what port you're shipping out of and it depends what else is going through that port as well. Um, so that's a very broad question with a very specific answer. Um, it depends on which port, which part of China, but for the majority, providing your sea shipping, uh, we're not seeing too much disruption, no. Not enough to disrupt um, any flow of sale or anything like that. Uh, no, we're not. Certain ports, definitely when, when uh, China were under lockdown, definitely there was a delay with certain ports, but um, definitely not now. I mean, China is the most online open um, country there is in the, in the world right now, um, and, and shipments are flowing directly, but I'm not, we're not seeing too much, maybe a week here and there. All right, that's the uh, the same thing here. I'm now gonna be posting, let me put the link up here for everyone to see, one second to all the audience. Um, okay, so for anyone who's looking for the link to the Freedom Starter Kit, I just posted it there again, just to make sure you got it. You can click on that. It's gonna give you a, a downloadable zip file of everything that we promised you on here. So feel free to grab that and also uh, check it out. It's got a lot of great information that you can use when starting your business. Now, let's see. Uh, deal breaker mentioned Mr. Damon John. Uh, okay, Damon John, <laughs> DD, there, if that was your deal breaker, uh, yeah, I just mentioned his name. So, probably want to know if this is if this is a recording. It is not a recording. We actually had Damon John on with us last week. So, if any of you guys are interested, uh, Matt Clark, uh, one of the co founders, actually did a couple Instagram lives with Damon, was on a webinar with Damon. We are actively working with Damon right now. Uh, but that, you know, we worked with Robert Kiyosaki over the last couple of years. We are working with some of the biggest names in uh, the whole e commerce business. Uh, we uh, had Richard Branson speak with us on stage. I like to tell the story that I actually got to open up for him because I was interviewed right before him. He didn't realize that, of course, and it probably doesn't mean much to him. But yeah, we're working with a lot of people who have faith in this business model and have faith in us and our ability to show people how to change their lives. So uh, hopefully, Didi, that kind of did it for you. Um, if there are uh, any more deal breakers that you see, Dan, before we let people get back to their lives? I think okay so this final one does the course provide guidance on setting up a company before selling on amazon for example a sole trader or limited company in the uk is the course discussing this at all um so yes absolutely we go we go through exactly the correct way of setting up and this is where amazing selling machine goes much further than any of these other um, type uh, recourses that have come online since amazing selling machine has been around eight years guys pretty much started this industry um and in the welcome module, we walk you through step by step the correct way to get started. And you don't actually need to, to, to get a company set up right away. Here in the UK, they're getting a bit more strict about that. Over in the US, it's a bit more lenient. But we walk you through exactly the best and quickest way to get that done and who to go and get that done with as well. So we hold your hand through that entire process, not just the part of selling on Amazon. We help you get set the business set up as well and get it set up right from the beginning, get it set up the correct way from the beginning. So we'll take you through that entire process.
All right. Thank you so much, Dan. All right, everyone. I think that's uh, most of the deal breaker questions we had. I know it's been a long time here, over two and a half hours. The questions have been great. You guys have been asking the right things, giving a lot of shout outs, especially to you, Dan. Uh, one may seem especially all to you, Dan, for the great training that you did. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, I'm going to say a, a little goodbye here and then I'll let Dan kind of sign off. But I want to thank everyone for taking, you know, two and a half plus hours out of their day, their evening, morning, wherever you're at to join us for this training. I hope you got a ton of value out of the training. Dan always does an incredible job. Uh, even if you aren't able or weren't able to join Amazing Talent Machine, that's okay. I don't want anyone to walk away being stressed out because they weren't able to join right now. We'd love it where our goal is to get as many people to join this and change their lives as possible, but we get that it can't always be possible right here and right now. Our goal is you can take the training you got then and maybe start doing some of this on your own. And then once you feel like you're ready and able to join us, then you'll come back and uh, you'll realize that we're the right people to help you get going faster and safer and as profitably as possible. Cause that's what we'd love to see. We'd love to see you at one of our live events. We'd love to see you at one of our masterminds later on. Uh, but our most important priority right now is getting you up and going, finding your product, building your brand, launching your business. And like I was able to do, quit your job. That is the goal here. So thank you for joining us here. Uh, I look forward to seeing and hearing from many of you inside of Amazing Cell Machine. And Dan, I'm going to let you uh, sign off. Thanks, Mike. And thank you, everyone, for attending. Thank you for spending this time in your day. We, we really do value your time. Um, all I can say to you is if you want tomorrow to be different from today, then this is the fastest vehicle to deliver that future path. Take action. Join us now inside of asmnow.com forward slash roadmap. If not, don't worry about it. Download that free starter pack and at least that will get you started. So, guys, thank you for taking the time. That's it from us for now. Talk to you soon.